Sure. Very good. Hey, hey everybody. You guys getting excited? Serving popcorn? Yeah, not for you guys. Grant's watching. 24 people? Come on, you guys can do better than that, even before the stream starts. Right? It's good dwelling here, Yeah. How you guys doing? You excited? I'm gonna show you something you guys haven't seen before. Six seconds. Here we go. You guys ready? Maybe not. Maybe That's not. okay. We're going to start anyway. Hey guys, and welcome back to the hey. Unfiltered Gamer Live. We're totally ready, by the way. And, uh, <laughs> not uh, fighting everything at the last minute here. Setting up. But uh, just want, how you guys doing? You guys having a fun night tonight? Let's go ahead and get this thing started. You guys go ahead and start sharing and commenting, and we're going to start putting your name in. What up? Family friendly load of games tonight. Uh, we're going to be giving away Spancy, Trellis, all these games you see back here. These are all up for for uh, your uh, pick up pet pleasure, except for dwellings, of course, over there. Yeah. I hope you guys sure. are ready. <laughs> we're setting up a three player game of Dwellings of Elder Vale. And uh, we're going to have our friend Peter once again back to show us how to play this game. This is the first time it's been on live stream. That's right. And uh, most of the stuff is is got the uh, final artwork. There's still some things that are probably going to be fixed and changed, of course, throughout the night, and there might be some little hiccups here and there. But for the most part, uh, you're getting to see the first look at what's being produced right now for the game before it goes to Kickstarter. Uh, what date is that? June 19th. June 19th. That was a good slide. Yeah, right? <laughs> June 19th, I everybody. Could, I, I, yeah, I, 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 I failed you. I failed fine. you. No, it's actually fine because we have, yeah. uh, we have a website that you can, everyone can go check out. And uh, if you go to www.dwellingsofeldervale.com, we'll remind you in the stream. That's how we're going to get everybody to know when the Kickstarter is live. Nice. Yeah, and of course, joining the mailing list down below here. You can go ahead and join the Dwellings mailing list. If you do that, that's an entry as well to a giveaway. We're going to be doing a lot of giveaways today. Oh, Every half an hour, we're dropping down a giveaway. And if we can get 50 people during the polls, we're going to give away a pen in addition to the game. So we're going to, we're going to give away games regardless. But in addition, we're going to be giving away additional stuff. Every 30 minutes, if we can have 50 on it, if you guys can pull that off. And at 100 people we're doing something we're yeah, giving away yeah. so this is really rare okay yeah because i just got mm. these these are prototype minis of what's going to be in the game this croc it's, it's a uh it's an early thing i mean the designer doesn't even have one of these yet i will give this out we hit a hundred the final prize someone's taking a dwellings mini an early copy of a dwellings mini so that means everyone get your kids get your grandmas your moms <laughs> your dads your aunts your uncles everybody that's, Hi, that's Hi, pretty Brian. awesome. Storming here. I hope you don't lose power. I hope you don't either. We need your views so we can give away more games. But uh, you guys joined us for two days in a row. Maybe we've got some new people here. Hopefully we can get some new people here. But uh, you guys keep sharing it up. Let's see if we can get to 50 people during our first giveaway session. We're doing a bunch throughout the entire night. And I'll be adding things. I'm going to be working the camera here. So it's going to be a little wonky because I've only got some people. i got no grant today. But uh, while we play the game, he's gonna. Well, we're gonna explain this. And while we play the game, I'll be throwing out some more giveaways and whatnot. Yeah, I'm tab. I'll explain the uh, the basics of this game for everybody. Um, basically, I don't know if you guys have played these, uh, you know, Euro type games. I mean, if you're into the the point the point games, 
I, I like those a lot. I, I like every kind of game. So when I was talking about this game with uh, Luke Glory, who's the designer, we were talking about those types of games, and I said, why is there no like fantasy version? Why is there no like epic fantasy versions of some of those games? Um, louder? Too loud. No, no, the internet connection. It keeps on shaky. interrupting. It's done oh. it twice so far. It almost seems good on this end. Mm. Hopefully we're okay. Keep going. All right. So, um, basically, I was like, how come there's no uh, epic fantasy versions of those games, right? And I told Luke this idea of a world, sort of a Middle Earth, that's full of, you know, uh, you're, you've got a Gandalf, there's a Balrog in there, probably. You're, you're, there's air and, and, and earth and fire and water and order and chaos and light and dark. And at first he looked at me like I, like I was crazy. Like, you can't put that many things in a, in a, in a Euro, in a worker placement game. You can't do that. And I was like, but can't you, though? And then he solved it. And that's what this game is. It's like, it's got so much of that um, solid mechanical core in there, but it all wrapped up in a, a fantasy game. Yeah, so, and, and I've played this already. Me, Callie, have already played this game already. Ashley has not played this game yet. Are you getting crazy lag? Is everybody getting crazy lag? Maybe if I... Hmm. It keeps... It keeps on freezing up and says broadcast interrupted. Uh, what? No! Yeah, keep, that's the third time that I've seen it do it. Oh, no. Hmm. It, did, it just did it's it again. It's killing us, it, huh? It, it's interrupting quite a bit, yes. Yeah, it just did it again. Maybe if I, I maybe if I bring this on... Maybe it's using the internet from my tablet. Maybe I'll have to move this, this little ditty out of here get closer to the internet. Switch spot with you. Yeah, that might be how it has to go. I'm going to try. Okay. Uh -oh. Don't worry. Don't hopefully, try that'll, here, kids. hopefully that'll fix it. Go ahead and move that over there. Bring it over to Cali without destroying my camera. There you go. Let's see if we can get closer we can to the... We can do this. Close to the door. <laughs> Oh no! Technical difficulties! Ah! Total technical difficulties. That's okay. <laughs> We've got a score here. Oh no, my explosion. That's okay. That's when you know you're being an innovator and mm -hmm. when uh, things go wrong. Right? Well, think about it. Everyone right. wanted more effects, right? Yes, yes. No, it was just probably a button that was pushed. How is it? Is it, is it, is it going okay now? Um, it's going right now. Um, yeah, we get still the... waiting on the the catch up. No, I'll see. Maybe go ahead and go ahead and pull that thing down, Callie. And actually, we'll have we'll have you here, Callie. And I'm going to be over there just so yeah. that way we can make sure that the internet connection doesn't go out. We want you guys to have a good stream. It's looking good now. And yes, I, I, it's, I, so far it's looking. Everybody's good. Everybody's saying it's okay. Hopefully, um, we'll see. But I, so you're going to have to control from over there now. Yeah. Okay. I, but okay, I'm going to move the camera. Make it all good. But <laughs> Callie will sit here and I'll sit over there. Okay, all right, okay? all right. Make life easy. Sure. Musical chair. All right. You you're going to get the bot. Do you want me to sit over there? No. Oh, oh, yeah, it's I fine. Think. It's fine. doesn't matter. Okay. It, it actually doesn't right. matter if he moves over here. <laughs> here we go. Let's see if we can do it. So you want me to move over? Okay. Here we go. You move over one. <laughs> can you move over one? Hello. Oh. Okay. Right. Callie, you're actually going to be over here, which is fine. Because people like seeing the pretty Callie. And we'll throw a word doomed over here. Oh, word doomed. Okay. Now, hopefully you guys are telling me the comments. Uh, I think he's 41. Now, and We're up to Callie's 43 right now. Well, either way, because it doesn't matter. You can switch it. Okay. Yeah, we can take it. You want to be the purple case? Oh, no. that was going to be you. Right? Oh, yeah, okay. you're purple. You're you like purple. All right. Yeah. Although that means you're rats. I don't know if that's okay. <laughs> rats! <laughs> the purple is uh, and rats. This I did. <laughs> and you're playing the character I played. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Oh, here Ready? comes the avalanche on the feed. Here comes the avalanche. What avalanche? Oh, it's coming down? <laughs> yeah. It's coming down? It's about to in just a second. All right. I look good here. I look good. <laughs> All, right. All right. Let's keep this. Uh-oh, don't want to do that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Two avalanches in one day? This could maybe. be fun. This may be. This could be fun. Okay. Technical difficulties look like we're solving it. I don't think I paid this for the Wi-Fi bill. Yeah, whoever paid for the Wi-Fi bill, I'm very upset about that. But, okay. 
Continuing, oh, right, everything right, right, looks right. good. It looks like we're good at 41. You guys let me know if we have any connection issues, but I think we're good. Without Grant, we have no magic, and it's just me going on with the, the <laughs> filming editing. So, talk, tell me more about uh, Dwellies. This is our first ever live stream of the That's game, right? right? We've played it a couple of times, prototyping, you know, uh, play testing and whatnot, yeah. but it's never been on film or it's never been uh, live streamed? It has never been uh, streamed. We've had, uh, you know, uh, a couple previews of it. We're going to do more of these streams, but this, we're really excited to bring it to Unfiltered Gamer and have everyone see how it plays. Um, so I was explaining that it's, you know, the, the concept is it's a long lost elemental world, okay? Mm -hmm. And there's all these different forces of, of in there and you're going through the summoning portal to go into this world and try and ultimately dwell there to gain all that power. But you're gonna run into gigantic monsters while you're there and of course the other players are trying to get all the power first. So how you play is it's a work replacement game where you're going to either with asynchronous turns, you're either going to go on the board with one movement, or you're going to pull everything back and you're going to regroup. What uh, Luke Laurie, who's known for uh, Manhattan Project Energy Empire, mm -hmm. he put a lot of, he loves worker placement, so he's got that, but he's also got engine building. So when you regroup, there's no bad turn. Usually in worker placement, it's like, that's the boring turn. This doesn't have that. You pull back and you get to you activate do things. all yeah. of the adventure cards that you've got. So there's a lot of fun with that. And then there's... um. A little bit of area control, but it's a spin on area control. You're not ever denied a space. But like I said, you're going to be dwelling. So eventually you're going to get on the map here, and you're going to build a dwelling and live in these, these realms. You know, it's a fire realm. So, you know, basically Ashley, as the Shadow Demons, could live in there. And then when she does that, she's going to gain power in fire. She decided to live in fire. Oh, you got a little guy with a little hat there, too. Yeah, he's He's wearing there. So basically, the more power you get, the more you're going to score at the end. And of course, you can get these... The magical energy, all of that fire, you can gain all that. I need to get one of those little bunny ear things. You guys are right. I'm going to actually be like bunny ear and put it in this bar. That way I can have my tablet over there when I don't have magical grant. We got a lot of people here. You ready to say hello really quick? Sure. All right. I right. Thank you again. Rachel, Harris, Lily. Lily Kwan, thank you as well. Tyler Jones, Emma, Colton, Rachel, Drew, Daniel Smith, Joshua Stewart, Stephen Dutzman, Bob Tish the third, JT, <laughs> Christopher, Eric, Bob Tish again. Thank you for sharing, guys. If you want to share, go ahead and do that. We're every half an hour, we're going to be giving away extra stuff. If there's 50 viewers, we've got 41 here, which if, if it was a half an hour point, would not make it. 42 doesn't count either. Uh, Jason, Danny, Trey LaCraze, Ian Reed, Chris, so uh, Matt, Jason, DJ, DJ Wesley Fox, Aaron Shear, Adam, Gary Lyon, welcome again, Gary. Another, he's a he's a trooper. He's a trooper. Yeah. I don't know how you have the time to watch us. Walters, of course, Vinny, Vinny, Mark Roberts, and Walters Kazoku. All right, so we got all our regulars already on, and uh, 43 is getting there. See, keep climbing, guys. Let's see if we can get to 50. All right, so uh, <laughs> now that I'm done with my my little auctioneering spree, uh, we have picked characters. Right? Yes, you have. So that's the other thing is that in this game, uh, another thing that's kind of cool about it is you've got workers. But unlike worker placement games where it's just a same, same worker, all of your workers are different. So you have a dragon you can summon. You have a warrior who basically comes in and fights anywhere. You have a wizard who can teleport everywhere. And you have workers that can build those dwellings. Those are totally different. And on top of that layer, you're either dwarves or elves or centaurs or, or shadow demons today. We have ratlings and clerics of the dawn. So you have variable player powers on top of the unique workers. So there's a lot of different ways to play. So let's talk about the Shadow Demons for a second. Now, Ash is playing Shadow Demons, so she's got the regular workers. Her, her warrior is aggressive, just like everyone's warrior, except every time she dies, this warrior dies, it's going to get stronger and stronger. That's the Death Knight. Okay. <laughs> so then you've also got this uh, uh, dragon, which is Rise from the Shadows, and it basically, uh, every time it goes on the board, it can pull something from the Underworld, which is where you go when you get knocked out for a second it's going to pull that back onto the board. So, syncs really well with this warrior. When your warrior dies, it gets stronger. You use that dragon to swoop in there, and the warrior's right back. Um, the Ratlings, which Callie's playing, they have their workers all swarm. So every time she joins a battle, she's going to get more swords, which, which gives her more... Which helps you in the battle, Which right? basically, yeah, it's yeah. Like the swords are the sort of the thing you get when you lose battles, and they're useful in a couple different ways. And so for the Ratlings to get more swords, it's like they just beef up, and they want to swarm people. But the dragon is also really cool. She, her dragon, in addition to flying, also has tunneling, which is unique, meaning that she can use she can land in a realm and use a adjacent realm, which is really powerful. Michael's got the clerics of the dawn, which 
they can't die, which is pretty cool. <laughs> that's the that's workers, kind of what I feel like I, should, basically, I deserve that. If the dragon roasts them, they just appear a second later. They go back to your ready area instead of going to the underworld, so that's really cool. But they also have a dragon that looks for death. Apparently, that dragon has what's called glorious demise. Every time it dies, you get a point, so you're basically not sad if you <laughs> have anyone on that faction taken out. Do we want to talk about, we we're talking about the game trays and whatnot, do we want to show them some images for that? Sure. All so right. one thing that we're going to have at launch is game trays. We're really excited to work with game trays on this one. And these are temp player boards. So this is a little, I can show you what it's going to look like. We're showing it right now. Okay, you guys so, it okay. Just the front now. We got you've the got, one. So you've got the pirates, right? Yeah. So that's our water faction, the pirates of Nightmare Cove. And that's showing you what we're going to have is the art uh, above a tray. And then the next image we have shows you the the how the trays are going to look um that's all these pieces right there are going to go into a tray underneath oh. the art so you've got that one's showing you the red factor the ogres and it's actually showing a flip side which is if we stretch and get the goblins you're going to have two choices for how to play that that red faction so uh, really excited about game trays uh noah at game trays is doing a fantastic job with this game is really diving in and getting to the core of what is going to be fun about it for the trays. Yeah. So easy setup and easy take, you know, to uh, to put it away. Do you guys, do they, you guys want to see a close up miniature too before we start? Yeah, we should show the one that we're we're giving. We're giving away. If we hit a hundred, like I guess we're going to give away a mini. This is the mini. I'm actually going to go ahead and show you it on the screen, so you can see it right well, over. Well, we hit fifty four, so we're halfway there. That's yeah, not good I mean, enough. We need more. You gotta tell your friends this, um, this right, right, it, yeah. This this thing, yeah. See, it? Okay. I got it in my hand. Right here. This is what we're giving away. If you get, we get a hundred. If we get to a hundred, fifty every half an hour, fifty every half an hour is we're giving away bonus giveaways. But this one right here, yeah. if we get a hundred, right? we're giving away an actual high, original actually. prototype of the game. <laughs> like, this game's gonna do real well, guys. So I would, uh, um, let's let's try and do that. This monster is scary. Yeah, it's they're a dread crocodile, <laughs> and if, if the art is like it's it's just taller than a mountain. Okay, yeah. this dread crocodile <laughs> comes in, and it's gonna come from the water realm, and it's gonna wreck you. Yeah. Um, we've got a lot of monsters in this game, so we'll talk about each one when they come out. Basically, every time you play the game, you play with the number of player you play with elements that the players have chosen plus two. So you don't see all of them. You're going to see some of them come out every game in different ones. Um, it's different every game. <laughs> every game is different right now. Different the order realm is closed, and the air realm and the earth realm are all closed because you guys are playing three uh, five, three player games. There's five elements that are in the game. Uh, we've got chaos in the game. We've got darkness. We've got light, we've got fire, and we've got water today. So you guys are going to see those happen. Now these these have different flavor to them. So when you add chaos to the game, that means you've got a lot of cards that randomize and do fun stuff. When you add uh, order, which we didn't pick, that means that like these uh, you know set the dice uh, exactly. So there's a different feel to each of those. Elements. In layman's term, lots and lots of replayability. Yeah. Lots. <laughs> yes. I mean I like I like to you know like oh I haven't tried the elves. Versus this, and played it with this power, and so that stuff is all in there. Yeah, this artwork looks looks excellent, and uh, luckily, yeah. so we, we played before, but we're probably going to need to recast. We were hoping to get a game in earlier today, but we wanted to make the stream as best possible for you guys, so we had as many images to this as we could, made it look good, hopefully you guys like those. So we're going to kind of go in a little bit blind here. That's fine, we'll, we'll play some... We'll figure it out. I think we can, you know, we'll play some turns, and, and this is also... As I explain it to you guys, and explain it to everyone, because no one's seen this game yet, right? And you'll see how it is for our first player that never played the game before. What, it, what the experience is like. And she's going to be like, oh my gosh, earth shattering! <laughs> okay, so so I've, I've predetermined that, Michael, you're going first. So let's just okay. go over some basics. Yep. You are going to take a worker placement action with one of your three available workers. You start with three workers, okay? Those are the ones you have to work with. Now, in the beginning of the game, we're in peace mode, so you can't even fight right now, which is good, because that means people can learn the game, okay? So in peace mode, uh, you're going to play that way until you have a regroup, until everybody has a regroup turn. Then it's gloves are off, okay? And these are all locked, right? Those are all, yeah, yeah. these are not summoned yet. You don't have these, but you can go to the summoning portal to get one of them. So you have to pay the cost to get that out. And once you've summoned your dragon, it's yours to use for the rest of the game. But you have to get it first. But you have to pay for it first and bring it into Elder Vale. All right. So you've got these... Pause our music. Let's just kill that. We've got, sure. we got some things going on. Just tap it. Just they like are, YouTube. They're loving 
Your the rat people. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're loving the rat people thing. The rat people. Rats. The rat people, and they like the they like the colors. All right, so it's a very colorful game. Yeah, yeah, so you can just see your factions, see what the so purple is chaos in this game. You can always see when chaos cards are out and stuff like that. We got some all in pledges. Uh, there are already people who are saying they want to go all in on this. Yeah. And, uh, all, in. all right, I love it. I expect it. All right, <laughs> make me proud. So. What you're going to do on your first placement is you're going to take a worker and you're going to go on any one of these realms, and that's your placement, okay? Uh, your first move has to be to an unoccupied realm, so that means you cannot just come in here and visit the Chaos Beast. Aww. This just happens to be roaming. He's Already, sleeping no. right now, though, because, because it's peace mode, and the monsters are dormant in peace okay. mode, so you're not going to have any Chaos Beast yet. But if you were to step next to the Chaos Beast and it was not peace mode, it would rush in and try and kill you. So uh, you could be, be safe for a little bit. Okay. So you're going to pick a realm and you're going to go there. And if you want to pick... So the, well, these brown realms are ruins and they all do something different. And the color realms are elemental realms and they all do something that's similar, which is you get a token. Uh, the tokens yeah. translate to resources. Actually, i got to give you guys a lot of resources you're supposed to get. Yeah, I guess starting resources, right? You get a starting gem. Everybody gets a starting gem. Everybody gets a starting scroll. These yeah. are temp resources, by the way, everyone. But you put them right here. We're working on all the finals. You get a, you get a potion... <laughs> You get a sword. It's still interrupting. And you get a tool. Should be. There it goes. It's all good on the side. Maybe it needs to be a little bit. Maybe just the, the internet's a little wonky or Facebook. We're all going to be sucked oh, we, into the Did it again, yeah. yeah. Good now? Yeah. No, it just did it again. It mm. went back on and it went off. Went off. It's okay. Well, it's, it's all right. Let's keep all right. going. All right, so. So, you've got resources. When you take a treasure token... What that's going to do is you've got four slots for those. Those are like virtual versions of those resources that you can at any time convert into those resources. But you can also do something really cool with those, which is that you have... See, everyone's got a, uh, like a starting tableau of, of powers that you can do when you regroup. So and I've got mine that's a diamond. You have a sundial, uh, which produces a, a gem. And uh, Callie's got the fountain of essence, which produces a potion. And then uh, Ashley's got a curved knife, which produces tools. So when you pull your worker back, you're going to get that that thing. You're going to get a tool. Yeah. So However, place out if you right go now. get, uh, say, this little treasure token, and then you decide to slot it, which is one of the things that's really innovative about this game, you can slot this on there. And now, every time you pull back, you get something better. So you regroup, and instead of getting a tool, now you're getting a tool and a potion. Okay. Mm. And there's tons of cards here which are engine building, and they have inputs and outputs, and you can slot any tokens however you want on a lot of those cards. All right. So that's why you might want to go get a token. So maybe I want to go here. So that's pretty good. He's going into the realm of darkness, and, and you can take either one. Potions. Potions or a potion and a tool. tool. And you, mm. keep, you can keep that in your here. You don't have to slot it yet. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can okay. slot it at the last second, so if you see something better to do with it now. That's his turn. He just took one turn, and that's it. So it's back. It's now on your turn. Okay. So you're gonna take one worker, and you can go anywhere. Um, so you can do the same thing. You can just take a token from that fire realm. Okay. And this is an either or. So if you took that one, you'd be able to get either or, which is good for an input. That's a double gem, which is awesome. I mean, pretty good stuff. Okay. So you put that over there, and you'll have that when you want to slot that in somewhere. So then it's on to Cali. Now this does not rush in because it's. Dormant, it's sleeping right now. So usually we might want the one here, right? So these or are adventure these cards, cards. and oh. so when you go to the dungeon, yeah. you are going to that. That's a good way to, so I can talk about the end of the game is when Elder Vale is explored mm -hmm. or somebody builds all of their dwellings. Mm. So two of the actions you've not seen yet are there's ways to build these and there's ways to explore this. The dungeon is how you explore this. So you'll take one tile and you'll build the map, and then you'll also go on one to two adventures. Adventures all cost the same resources you see here, and they allow you to add to your tableau. So that when you pull back, you're going to have these awesome things you can do. They start with doorways, and the doorways are all very similar. They cost two mm -hmm. of each of the resources. So if you want the chaos doorway, which is the astral gate, you would spend two gems to own that card, and that's when you go to the dungeon. So. Cool. Let's see what you're going to do. First. Now, okay, after we have our okay. first round, you guys get an idea of the game. We're going to do a vote for who you want sorry. to win. One of us four is going to win. If you haven't voted, you can vote for any of us. Peter, Ashley, Callie, or myself, Michael, to win the game. And your vote will go is into Peter the basket. Playing? No, it's just no. Oh, sorry, no, Peter. I, it's just Ashley. He's, yeah, I forgot. Ashley, <laughs> Callie, or myself. Peter Team? is explaining the game. Who's right pass? But it Who's does play up to no. five okay. players. It's up to five. We're going yep. one to five players on this Jennifer, one. nice to see you. Thank you for sharing. Adam Rossi, Scott, Brie Goldman, Brie, thank you. 
you yeah, for sharing please. as well. And Daniel Smith, you guys are awesome. I appreciate it. Your Keep aunt, up the work. Your aunt's also watching, but <laughs> she didn't pay any attention to you. She's paying attention to Smashly over here. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so Cal, you went out on that yeah. Chaos Realm and grabbed a uh, couple swords, right? Yeah. So it's back to Michael. It's asynchronous, so you can pull back at any time. So Michael can pull back right now if he wanted to regroup. But if he wants to go out with her, another one. Now, the second rule is... Once you've placed, you have to go adjacent to mm -hmm. where you've placed. Uh -huh. So now you're on the map, which means you have to work from there. Okay, so I can't place these guys anymore now. You can, map. you can still place them, but you can't just go over here. You I need have to, to go place adjacent. it adjacent to my character, which means one of these areas here. Right. So if I wanted to, I could go over here. Right. And grab that tool. That's right. It comes right back to Ashley. Now you have to work from here. Now if you were to step into this realm, you would oh, you would get to take the gem, and then if it wasn't peace mode, you would fight. But okay. right now you can walk in there just fine. You can How also long will it be peace mode? until everybody regroups once. So you got a little couple turns before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So is it dangerous to play? Right? So you can go can... right where the cast beast is. He's uh, not awake uh, right now. It's totally fine. And okay. so you grabbed a potion. I'm gonna go in here. And she's and taking grab two a potions. Potion. Ooh, <laughs> she's ready to go. You know what? Vote for them. She's I've already got the more votes than anybody. Me. <laughs> <laughs> vote me. Moment. No, they all love Kelly. We're actually doing a story on the website right now of the Ratlings, and the Ratlings are going to discover <laughs> Grant votes for Ashley. all of the different realms on the way to Kickstarter, and at the end of that story, there's yeah. going to be an exclusive mini for anyone who solves the puzzle of the Ratlings on our website. Now, why would I want to go to the Summon area or the Dwell area? Okay, so Summon brings in another unit, and it's going to go right to your ready area, so you can pay for your warrior or something like that. Now, the Dwelling area is how you settle down and live in Eldervale. And you need to pay the dwelling cost. And then you're going to lose that worker for the rest of the game. But what you're going to gain instead is, uh, first of all, battle uh, flexibility. Because that like dwelling can, can right. fight. Yeah. And the other thing is you're going to get you're going to get points and power. So all right. there's a reason to dwell. So if I want to go to summon here, I could put this guy here. Now, could I, now what, what resources do I need? Now, it's based on my board here. So, for instance, the wizard would be two of these potions and a scroll, right? right? Everybody's the dragon's ready. expensive. How about these guys here? So the first one costs uh, one. Of any resource of type? Of any resource. Yeah. Okay. Now, so there's right. something that I did not deal out. I, I apologize. And I can use my treasure tokens as resources as well if I do not want to just simply put on my sundial. You right? absolutely could. But uh, let me... Uh, deal these out because I totally forgot about the fact that there's magic spells. Oh, you want, yeah, yeah, we want some magic spells, please. Uh, so this game has a magic card deck which has three different flavors. It has spells like fireballs and lightning bolts and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Um, really cool and stuff. I can and show you guys. There's a fireball spell. To your abilities here, well, right? those are where the adventures no. go, but okay. these you have in okay. your hand. Fireball, fireball, fireball. That's what it looks like. <laughs> That's awesome. And then we also have quests, which when you're playing. Let's say you have a quest that says take down a monster with one worker. Okay, that's like Rise of the Hero. <laughs> so if you do that quest, you flip over the card and you're like, I did this quest. All right. Then the other ones we have are prophecies. And if you get a prophecy card, it is an end game thing, a secret end game thing that nobody else you have. Oh, I want to get five dwellings. So that's something that you're going to want to do. Yeah. So I'm going to give everybody yeah, I don't magic cards. It's and back what, on one area that I've not talked about is the Mage Tower. That is how you go get more magic cards. Okay, so there's five for you. Thank you. Five for you. Five. We'll give Mike five look at too, these? right? Yeah, you can look at those. Those oh, are yeah. your magic cards. You can look at those if you want. Now, when you were when I'll wait for Michael because there's a way you can use these as well. These are resources as well. So, if something requires resources and any resources, you can spend cards that are no good to you. So that's a way to get them out of your hand if you want better ones. So you can always okay. just clear your hand a little bit. That's cool. So, um, you've got some spells there if you need any help or, or whatever on those. Uh, so Michael already went to the summoning like portal, but he didn't do anything yet, so we should wait for him for a second. Oh, okay. we'll talk oh about, yeah, he didn't summon anything. We'll, we'll talk about whatever anyone's asking questions about over there. Yeah, yeah, it's looking okay. It's just... Sometimes it'll buffer. That's that's Facebook for you. Mine looks perfect. So I was going to explain to you when you were talking about summoning costs. When it says any resource, that also can include one of your magic cards. Okay. Those are any. Those are also a resource. These also count as a resource. They themselves. do. Oh, was this before? No, it was new. Uh, this is uh, a rule that I did not remember when I was teaching this. Aha! Uh -huh. uh, it happens. Everybody. And I remember. It happens. Thank you for voting for me, by the way. <laughs> Thank you for voting for me. It's a wise choice, indeed. Well, I'm not going. I'm going to keep these. These these seem worth more than a resource. But I am going to get rid of. So you're summoning something. What do you yeah, get yes. summoning? I, another cleric? Another worker? Are these wild 
resources? They're not wild. They are. They're useful when they're when there's any. Like when you can spend anything. Oh, okay. Only when they're, they're not. What's they're, wild they're in the game enemies. is gold. Gold is wild. Wild. And you can get gold. I'm going to mention another activity. You go to the fortress to convert things into gold, and then you have wild resources. So you're going to spend a tool and so a I'm sword. So I can dump all three of these, which is two tool, two tools and a sword, which yep. will give me a warrior. Sorry, that guy's swapped. That's your wizard. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah this, that's how you get so, your warrior, yeah. And he is cool. So when I buy him, do he go? Does he go in my ready? He goes hits? in your ready area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, let's and then you can just make a spot for the tokens. We're gonna have. A, uh, we'll be using. We'll have a game tray for that, like okay, a discard okay. area and stuff. Okay. Uh, I got my, I got my guide. So I went in my okay, portal. So I collected my, my, my worker. So you have one worker left. And you can go what have you missed so far? This is Dwellings of Eldervale. This is the first time you guys have seen this uh, live on stream on anywhere, and it will be coming from Breaking Games, right. and we are going to be uh, showing you it uh, as a first look to how it play. It's us three here. If you want to vote, you can go ahead and vote for any of us that you would like to you win the, the game. the Shadow Demons will win? The Rattlings of the, the Storm? The Clerics of the Dawn. the Clerics of the Dawn. And you can choose any one of us to win. It's a worker placement game that has some unique little That's twists cool. and it has a bunch of extra stuff like miniatures and all that. We'll be showing you all portions of the game, all kinds of stuff. It's a little unfair. I don't have the art for those two yet, but I have the art for the Shadow Demons. So maybe the Shadow Demons should win this game today. Oh, yeah, sure. Let's, yeah. let's show some, let's show some more for Shadow Demons. I can still Demons. go to the summon yeah. portal, right? So you, Shadow you Demons. Can, go like that. Yeah, you can't go anywhere where you are, but since you're not there, you can go visit there. Um, someone was asking, you said one to five players for one this one, five. so one it, it does have a solo mode. It's solo mode at launch. We're going to launch with that solo mode. That is super cool. Uh, Luke Laurie is designing it. It's called The Ghosts of Eldervale. A story. And so you play a regular faction. You're playing the normal rules, and the ghosts are haunting you at every step, trying to stop you. So it's really cool. So I spent a that story is super to get cool. a new worker. Does There's not enough. Here, yes, or? it goes to the red area. Okay, awesome. I don't okay. think there's My enough big now, games right? like this yeah. that have like a yeah, solo like mode. Solo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah boy. Like warrior does some badass re. So no fighting is happening right now. On first placement, all... warrior can be placed in an occupied realm. That's right. So I can place on Purple's area. Uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it, you already could because you have guys already there, yeah. but he can do that on the first play. Nice. And subsequent plays. Now, but he can't do this, right? He no, can't he can't. Over That's here. what he the has... wizard can do well. The wizard can teleport anywhere. So I could go over here. or If this guy wasn't here, I could go over here, basically. Absolutely, yeah. The wizard just can't go occupied, and the dragon can fly and go two away. All right, so Shadow Demons, you're, you don't have any more units. So you have to pull back. Oh. So yes, but you do them one at a time. And the reason why you do it one at a time is because you might want to dwell. So you're in a water realm, which requires two potions. You're in a chaos realm, which actually it's a layer for this beast, so it only requires one potion. And this fire realm requires three gems, so that's a really expensive one. But this one's going to boost you up two on the fire track. This one's going to boost you up one on the chaos track, which, you know, Callie's in right now. And this one's going to boost you up one on the water track. So if you wanted some of that power, you could choose a dwell action right now. It's a little bit of an advanced move, but because, you know, you're going to lose that worker for the rest of the game. So... That's why we go one at a time because let's say you wanted to dwell somewhere but you didn't have the resources because this one would re re you know require a bonus resource. You can take this guy and go get this first, then dwell. Okay. What I didn't explain about your player board is that you have your own personal summoning portal and dwell your own personal this. mill spot. So you can always do a summon and a dwell when you're pulling back, when you're regrouping. So okay. now if you didn't want to do a dwelling then your basic ones that you might want to do is you might want to come back and summon something and you might want to get this. This okay. this is, it gives you a resource. Okay. So what do you think? Do you want to like live in Eldervale already? What's my little dude here? What's this baby here? So that's a score. That, that marks that you are still peaceful. Okay. Because everyone's got okay. this okay. until they regroup. And when they regroup, they're going to have this on the glory track and that's going to be rewards for whenever you win battle. Okay? So... Uh, what are you thinking? Okay, so you're pulling back. So yeah, you've yeah. got the summon and the curved knife s spots here. Mm -hmm. So you want to use one of those. So you're going to summon. Now you have to choose if you want to summon your dragon. Which actually you, don't have, you do have enough gems, but you have to blow this token. You can summon your wizard, because you've got two potions and a scroll. You can summon your warrior, because you've got... Nope, you don't have enough tools for that guy, so he's out. Or you could summon a uh, worker, which would only cost you one of anything. Mm. So if you want more uh, little guys out there, you get one of those first. If you want to bring something big to the table, you can get your wizard or dragon. 
Here's another image of some like hard suits so you guys can get a good close peek of what it's gonna look like. All oh, everything is temp, but hopefully it's some cool stuff that we're showing. An idea. An idea of how it's all little, little, little taste. Okay, so you're gonna pay for the wizard. Thank you for signing up. If you sign up to the mailing list, we'll add your name as well, and you can still vote for Thank any you. of us through Ashley Keller or myself. All right, so she oh, you pulled back on that one. Now you've got two more to pull back. You can keep pulling back, yeah. Yeah, so you're gonna pull back. And worker placement, basically, in most worker placement games, you place down as many as you can. Here? Turn by turn, and, you want to live and then you return. But in this game, when you return, you get certain so, okay, aspects cool, uh, to, you're to do. Get a lot of fire. And no one's in fire right now, so that's pretty okay. good. All right, so she's gonna she's gonna live here. So how she does that is that you need two people to dwell. This one's gonna stay there forever. This one's gonna come back Thank to your Scott dwell Terrence. spot. Okay. And then you're gonna take one of those rooftops and put it on top of the meeple. You now made a nice bed and breakfast in the fiery, fiery realm. And she has to pay. Three and she has to pay three gems, gems to do that. And you happen to have gems wow. that she can convert that treasure token right into gems. So now you've paid. Now when that happens, you first score points for any adjacent ruins or dwellings. And there's only one nearby. The summoning portal is nearby. So you're going to gain two points for being next to the summoning portal. <laughs> then, this is a double. This is a dual realm for fire. So you're going to actually join the track on fire and go up two spaces. So oh, you're, you're on your way in firepower now. So you've pulled back all of your workers, which means then all of the ones on your cards and your tableau actions, they come back to ready. And since you've pulled back and regrouped for the first time, you're now ready to fight. Okay. So we got the Rattlings. All right. I'm going to go over here and grab this dual purpose token. Nice. Kelly is just loading up on these tokens. <laughs> right? the rattlings are ready. And I went first, so all my guys are out. So I'm going to have to pull back now? You do. You have to regroup now. Mm, all right. And none of you got any I, can cards I bring, Can yet. I bring one of these guys over you here? You can. You can slot something over. Okay. And then when you pull back to that spot, you're not going to get what was there before. You're going to get what you put there now. So that's pretty cool. Mm, do I want this and that? Or do I want that? I want this, I think. Yeah, I mean, potion and a gem every time you pull So back. that means I'm going to be able to pull. Now I can use my warrior yeah, as well, use right? any worker I can put that spots. on there. That's going to score me one of the <coughs> potions and potion. here and a gem. So I'll yeah. take that. That's nice. And put in my little tableau area here. And then I've got three more dudes, right? So, yeah, you could look at dwelling if you want, or you can bring one of them to your summon and bring the other two back to home. I think that's what I'm going to do. One to summon. Okay. And spend one of my... Mm. Mm. So you want to work? You want my potions? I one. Some of my potions, I think. Okay. Now give me a worker. I'll come back yeah. here. Yeah. And um. then these two, um, if you're not dwelling, just go right back to home. And then those workers from your tableau, they also go back to ready. So once once they're all done, they're all ready. Legitimate, legitimate. I need that uh, score marker because you're now ready to fight. I'm going to fight. I'm going to fight. <laughs> So we're still not in fight. We are going to Origins. Tally. I think all of us are going to Origins. Oh, yeah. We have a booth at Breaking Origins. Games will be there, and Unfiltered Gamer is going to be there as well. Yeah, we'll see you guys at the Origins if you're going to be there. Conventions that we're going to be at, uh, which we can mention again later. These too. are game trays, yes. KublaCon, we are going to be at Geekway to the West, for, which is next week. Uh, Bree Goldman's going to be there for our team in the game trays booth, showing off the latest and greatest. We're going to have a character uh, tray as well. Uh, we're going to be at uh, UK Games Expo. Uh, we're going to be at Origins. So, yeah, we, a lot of places to see this game. Um, they said hiding, hiding Callie behind this is cards. The this is the game trays <laughs> table right here. This is or the game trays, what's going to be included in the box. It's the open version of it. It's what you see down below on the table when I show you guys. But uh, just so you guys get an idea, these, these are what we the have in prototypes. Yeah, yeah. So we've got dungeon trays, and then we're going to have character player board trays, which are going to hold all your pieces. There's eight different factions in the game, all... All of them have color pieces, and we're going to have, a, you know, one for the Seven, yellow. thirteen? Does that count as a giveaway right now? Are we supposed to give away something? Oh, oh, seven, yeah, we should give away something. All right, all right. Let me go ahead. Yay. Oh, need yep, so. Oh. The chaos beast is out, so. So we're giving something away. You guys, we yes. got to hit 50. Push it right now. At 50? Push it. Well, almost at 42, 43. Uh, yeah, we're we've in. Been push, uh, we've been at 50, the, like, back uh, and forth, but yeah. we're hitting 41. You guys want to give away something? That's okay, we still have the game. We're, we're going to give game. away. What are we giving yeah. away? Okay, we're giving away two things right now, okay? One is one of these games. So we want to pick one. Do I do Trellis? Because it's right up here. Yeah, sure. sure. All right. And I have. Trellis. Which is designed game. by Teal Fristo. Yeah. Art by Vicky Chu. Art, this is really beautiful. We had a fun time making this one. It is a like really quick 15, 20 minute game. Um, kind of like Carcassonne and Suro had a baby. Something <laughs> like that. It just has that like really you know, yeah. easy to access kind of game and very fun. All right, you Half ready? Building. You ready to take a thing? 
Go ahead, give it away. Yeah, you're you're the one giving it away. All right. Sponsored streets. Cheap by me. Walters. Walters Cosmic I, UI score. Perfect. Well Here done, we go. good sir. Go ahead and give it there. Put your email. We already have your. I think we already I have an email. address for yeah. Walters, yes. I got one more. I can yeah. another one. one more? Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, We're well, also going to give away a Dwellings t shirt. Now I'm going to have to get their address and yeah. mail this out in a little bit, but I have, we have a t shirt totally, image for you. Wait. I've totally got you. Okay, good. Yeah, who, uh, we've got. Um, it's a Dwellings t shirt. Oh, a Dwellings t shirt. Dwellings That's t-shirt. cool. Who's that? Vinny. 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 Wow, I'm, what a score. It's, it's Vinny. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Vinny. <laughs> there you go. We got people right. coming in. If you haven't if you haven't yet, you guys can go ahead and comment as well as share this video out. That will get you to enter to win a wonderful Easter basket. If you I'm, share it and you bring in friends, we're going to get the prizes. We're just going to get yep. escalated. 45 here. already. 46. No, right, too on. late. No 50. Come on. No well, 50 the Vinny happens if we do this. We got to push. Right? Push. For the had, trial, which is like limited edition. We had 54. Mm-hmm. Too late. Too do late. It. Don't count. Okay. Don't right. count. <laughs> Um, I have addresses for both of them. Well, and this is the shirt, right? Shirt. 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 Okay. okay. Go. Shirt. Go. Let's go back in here. Now, shirt. it's still peaceful time because Callie is not. I'm peaceful. Because she's not <laughs> pulled back in her good. So you can go anywhere and not cause problems. Remember, when you come out for the first time, it has to be unoccupied. So you cannot go anywhere where Callie or a monster is right now. Okay. Um, I got you cornered. <laughs> so you don't have a lot of resources, so you might want to go find a way to get stuff. Fortress can make you some gold. Otherwise, you can go and get resources from. And the gold is a wild. The resource. golds are wild. There's also a gold token on that light realm. There's a gold token on Callie's Chaos realm, but you can't go there because she's there. So she can start anywhere now. Doesn't anywhere have to be that's not rolling. occupied. Okay. Yeah. This this doesn't count for placement and doesn't nice. doesn't affect anything. It's it's affects uh, score and combat. I needed my tea. So Ash is going over there into the light realm, grabbing a gold. Did anybody notice that I changed the my shirt? All right. The yes. rats have to pull back because yeah. the black and white one because didn't look they're already all the way out there. I'm gonna <laughs> upgrade my fountain of essence from one potion to two potions. All right. The rats yes. got discovered. They, they're gonna. So one uh, of them pulls back to that spot and yep. gets two potions. There you go. Thank you. Absolutely. And that will give me enough to come back and summon my wizard. Okay. It turns Where out the ratlings have yeah. a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> wizard rats? Oh, wizard I just, rats? I just saw the art for that. It's like all scraggly, this, this wizard in the front of a bog, and it's just and, like ready to... And then I like, also, yeah. do I have, yes, I do have enough also to dwell. Oh, wow, look at this. this She's dwelling then. in a chaos realm, which is what the ratlings would always want to oh, do. Of course. Vote yes, for one of us through the way. So the ratlings on my house. drop an awesome dwelling on the table. They, they, this is a little unfair because you guys don't know all the rules, but you're going to see what happens with this dwelling right now. So first things first, you get power in chaos. <laughs> and you already had some, so you're going up one. But secondly, I mentioned that dwelling score based on ruins and other dwellings, and you happen to be surrounded by <laughs> one, two, three, four, five ruins. So that is ten points right oh my there. God. The ratlings jump out to a very early you know point this? lead. No, They no, must I be destroyed that. now. Uh-oh, I thought it was bad to... because I wasn't. Ne- I'm not going to be able to expand really. There's only one spot to. There's only you one. Get s- for you get bonuses for you get bonuses for dwellings, but don't forget if you go to the dungeon, you can explore and okay. make the map bigger. But yeah, you got a ton of points from that, and you got some power in chaos. And now that you've pulled back, I'm going to need that uh, token, and that scoring token means now the gloves are off. If you go anywhere near this thing, it's awake now. If you go into a realm with another person, we're going to have a fight. But don't worry about it because it's you can still get to do the action that you chose. You're never going to lose out on an action, and the fighting is really simple. It's just rolling d6, and it's super easy to get into that. My turn. Yeah, my turn. Yeah, you're coming out, so you have to go somewhere where that's unoccupied. So you can't go over there or there unless you used your warrior, in which you just smash. All right, so you're going to the summon portal, Uh-oh. and you're going to summon something. The dragon. The dragon. Okay, the clerics are getting their dragon. Yeah, and boy, flavor, when, flavor. when Michael steps right here, the chaos beast ah! comes in. It's awake. Now the power of the chaos beast is it rolls four dice, and it. Uh, says that basically it's diseased, so whether you win or not, you're going to lose. Now, oh, this, the clerics, that. however, are a really good faction to fight the thing, because you can't... Oh, you yeah, can't I can't be, die. You're immune to disease. So it's pretty good. So this guy, so this thing comes in. Now, when you fight a battle, your worker rolls one die. So you're going to be able to roll one die. 
<laughs> and somebody, let's have let's have Ashley do this. You're gonna be rolling. Why don't you be the? Why don't you be the, right, the be bad guy? I'll be monsters. You know, we, have us, we have us as the good guys, yeah. and you're the bad guy. You're attacking uh, be, us because we'll right. fight each other now, throughout the game. Here's the thing: if you had any adjacent units, uh, those adjacent units could come in, but no one's okay. nearby. Mm -hmm. The other thing that can happen is uh, you can spend swords to add dice. So if Michael had swords, he could try and get more dice. Now, how battle works is every you're looking for six high. So so you're looking for the highest single die result. And if there's a tie, then you go to the next die and the next die. So I've got four chances to get a good good result. And Michael's got one. All right. We're gonna, we, so we're going to vote to see who's going to oh, yeah. win. <laughs> this, uh, this is, this is, this is <laughs> who wants to side with the clerics of the dawn? All right, this not this time. We'll do, we will do votes for battles, though. Epic battles. Yeah, yeah. When it All gets right. bigger. But well, just for me right now, poor clerics. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh -oh. oh, three, Actually, two, and uh, two. This shows you what can happen. The KSBs whiffed with twos and threes, so you killed it. <laughs> All right. What determines the end of the game, by the way? Uh, the end of the game is when these tiles run out, yep. or when someone builds six dwellings. Okay. Okay. So you you slayed the chaos beast. This little dude was just like. Now, the power of the Chaos Beast is that when you win, you still lose. But so, I don't lose because you. I so what happens die. is you travel to the underworld for a brief second, you get a sword even, and you come back to your ready do I Do I not get any bonuses and for killing And you do it? get a bonus. You get to choose between either going up on the glory track, which currently gives you two points. It's different every time. Or <sighs> you can soak up the energy of the Chaos Monster and enter the Chaos Power Track. Yum, yum. What do you think? What do you think? You and when you get higher on the power but track, so you Kelly, get more points. This is, Kelly's this is going an for score multiplier. Kelly's going for my the power track as well, though. And if I don't get up there, I'm going to be not getting as many bonuses. She right. is racing to this orb. The orbs are really powerful, and the first person to get that has a lot of advantage. Mm. So you're trying to get to some of those orbs if you can. There's also orbs for fighting a lot. So if you get a lot of combat victories, you're also going to get orbs. So it's either chaos power or glory. Which My guys are basically clerics, so I'm going to go with Glory. Are right, you going to go for Glory? Yeah. That is a two-point hit right there. <laughs> Patrick Lee, thanks for showing up. Sure, Don Gilstaff, thank you for sharing. And Brian start. Rogers, you guys are going in the basket. A lot of them have just... Um, oh, there's like 15, 20 people that have signed up for your mailing list oh, sweet. so far. Like, thank you, everybody. That's just adding... It's going to be so much fun. Oh, yeah. Fred Rico, thank you guys. Um, Comment and share. so many and things to unlock on this Kickstarter. Bree is turning everyone against your pre-wardrobe change. They're blaming your shirt for the, well, for the broadcast I interruptions. I have a dragon! <laughs> no, they're blaming his shirt for the broadcast okay, interruptions. Yeah, well, oh, is it still going on or is it okay? It's, it's, yeah. it's less, right. but Okay, so you better. just had that fight. That was your placement. You're now technically not an elevator. That comes back to Ashley, who is an elevator. I so walked in there. I smashed. I got stuff. And then I left. So if you go to the mage tower, you get more cards. If you go to the fortress, you'll turn some things into gold. And if you go to this water realm, you'll get a spell card, which you can either do immediately, or you can actually hold on to that um, spell card and slot it in. Just like anything else, it can be turned into an engine builder. So you can get magic cards all the time when you pull back. So you did your one thing, and now it goes to the rats who are not on the board, and they can come out anywhere mm -hmm, that's not mm -hmm. occupied. And go somewhere that has a dwelling. That's okay. You can go somewhere that the dwellings are just it's there for decoration right now. They're okay. they're like <laughs> bed and breakfast and stuff like that. They're just uh, all right. In that case, I'm going. Okay, I like so she's going in the fire realm, tokens. grabbing some awesome tokens. Hey, <laughs> really good at grabbing the double tokens. I mean, it's uncanny. <laughs> all right, now the clerics. You were out there, but now it's another fresh. You're not out there anymore. Mm. So you guys both have dwellings on you too. Yeah, Man, I'm making some. I'm not dwelling in El Eldervale, am I? <laughs> you do not a have a home in Eldervale quite yet. Mm. The clerics have I undecided. Some, I need some live. noms and I need some scrolls. Well, there's some cards here too, right? It's like, oh, yeah, you can get card. magic cards and build them into an engine, or just. Draw that card. I like those it. magic cards. They're pretty useful. But I also like scrolls. Okay, now he went there, which normally you have to go unoccupied. So we're going to But he brought the warrior, which means he That's go right. Occupied. Now, here's how this works we go clockwise for Michael, and anyone else can join in. So you could actually come in with your other demon if you want. At a risk of losing them both, though. So you have to decide do you want both of them in there? Each of, your, each of your workers will give you each, a die. Each one's going to bring How one die. Get? I get two. So warriors roll warrior. two dice. And also my guys don't die. I'm super so. confused. No, the warrior can't die, though. Oh, the warrior can die, yes. not the little dudes. Okay. So the little dudes are the ones with the uh, magical. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Ability. 
You can. You, you might. I killed. I killed a big thing with three. With when I had three and I only had one die. Yeah. Yeah, you can we'll do it. One. Yeah. That's okay, a good she's idea. gonna keep one in there. Now, here's what happens. You get one die, and Michael gets two. But you can add swords, so you can spend a Come sword on. to get a second die. And she spends first. It goes clockwise from the aggressor. So you could spend a sword. If We'd just be add. wasting it because if you did, I would spend one too. So let's save our swords. <laughs> What do you think? If you do, I'll spend one too. If you don't, I won't, and we'll just see how it goes. Into this one. I'm not because I want. <laughs> I want. I want. I wanted that scroll because there's I need the scroll over there too. No, there's no scroll. That's, That's a card, that. and that's two. Right. There's no. There's right, no so scroll. You add a, a sword sure. or not. All right. Okay, I'm so not so just either. rolling two. I'm two, nice. two versus one here. Let's see what happens. Look at that. Five. 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 Okay, so it's a five zero to a five one. So Michael takes this one down. <laughs> so what happens is the person who loses goes to the underworld and gets a sword because you're pissed off. Okay? <laughs> and then Michael gets another glory victory, which right now means one of any resource. Which can get I'll take a gold. So gold is pretty good. <laughs> you can also have one. taken a magic card. Those are the two I think that and people normally dying pick. in this game necessarily isn't a, a terrible No, game. you're just no. hanging out in the underworld for a second. Yeah. Whenever you regroup, it comes this back unit comes you. right back. It just can't activate your tableau. She's like, I'll, you'll rue the day. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so it's not so it's not too bad. It just doesn't let you utilize what that unit you're doesn't right, let you utilize. You can't do engine building. With engine the, building. But we've got tons of cards that actually let you totally violate that. So yeah. All right. All right, so that was his turn. And now it's your turn. I feel you can... Do, 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 do. You I actually have a wizard which can teleport anywhere on the board, but has to be unoccupied. So you can either go adjacent wow. or, or okay. anywhere. Now, the only way to build up on that track there is by going up on certain boards so, as well as getting cards. So if you buy an adventure card, it also bumps you up. And how do I buy the adventure cards? So dungeon. you got to go to the dungeon. No one's gone to the dungeon. It's okay. a very key part of the game to go get these. So I've been I've been showing something yeah, yeah, yeah. of everything every sure. turn. I'm trying to. So uh, you teleported over there. You grabbed a token. So that's mm -hmm. awesome. Now it's to the rats, and the rats have to work from right yeah. here. Unless you use your wizard and you teleport. Are you my off. rat baby? <laughs> rat baby. All right. <laughs> I'll go here. Okay. So she's grabbing yeah. something over there. Yeah. And that's it. So it goes back to the clerics. What are you gonna do? You have to operate from there now. But your dragon can fly two away. Yeah. If you want to. And the yeah. dragon rolls three dice. So and the, the mage tower the mage tower doesn't let me spend two of any resource to get three. So you get three cards. And, and then you discard one, one from your total hand. So when you have a maximum mm. card See, limit. These are good, seven. but just I want to save them for now. Uh, what if I'll do in that battle? <laughs> Alright. Let me see. Let me see what I want to do. Um, so when you see one that you want, that can buy it without having I should be playing um, these hands at the camera so you can see. Even though they'll know what it is, you want me to tell them? Sure. So she's got a lightning bolt, which basically adds a six to any combat. So when that combat, she's going to be like, and I had a six. So that, you know, we'd save that for a better fight. Um, also has a spell called Create, which is an order spell. So she's not on the order track right now, but that's okay. There's a, pre there's a way you can pay for it without being on that track. Um, Walters is asking who illustrated the artwork for the game. Oh, cool. We have a team of different illustrators. So I was looking for maybe one person to do it, and I got a couple of people who said, I can't do this much art at once. So what I did was, uh, Luke and I were talking about it, like let's put each element with its own illustrator. Mm -hmm. So there's someone who does all of the fire and someone who does all of the water and all of the earth. That way they stay kind of um, synced up. And gotcha. then the person who did the hexes, and the board is Sergio Chavez, who did a Rise of Tribes, uh, Rise of yeah. Tribes back mm -hmm. there. So Sergio is actually on board okay. to do the air faction, and he also did the map. So I got to spend two resources here. But I can talk about any of the artists from all the different elements. We've got... Um, and draw three of these and discard one. Uh, say for fire, right. we've yeah. got Sam Turner. Uh, Sam, Sam's killing it on the fire stuff. He's got mm. awesome monsters and awesome stuff. That's like, He's got a fire witch that's just on... Her arms are all... Ash. Um, so for Earth, we have Leisha Hannigan. Uh, Leisha Hannigan's a Magic the Gathering uh, artist. It's like she also did the art in Sparkle Kitty Nights for the Vampire and mm -hmm. the Werewolf. Uh -huh. Oh, very so, cool. Yeah, I can tell more artists. I will. T we'll take another turn. I'll tell some more artists. But we've got uh, a bunch of them. That's hilarious. Okay, I went and went. I moved my dragon over here to the Mage Tower. I discarded two resources and gathered two car three cards and discarded one. Okay. So in the discard one, we'll just have a face. I just put them on the bottom. Okay. Yeah. I, mean, I don't think they'll make it to the bottom. They're not going to make it, but, but yeah, there are <laughs> cards, though, that will let you get these. All right. Your turn, Ashley. I got a lot of things. All right, so you are out there, so you have to pull back. 
And it's so nice, too. I'm going to show you guys a little bit of something, something, something. So, first of all, these are end-of-the-game cards, and they actually sh they look different compared so, yeah, to the other cards. Because you can like, these ones here are instant. Or, you could actually put something like this there. And, and then you've got things like go. quests that look like these. This is, you could take one of these cards and plug it in there. Yeah, so I can kind of in. organize my cards based on in my hand. So I don't have to worry about these too much. These are just end of game. These ones here are quests that I complete during the game. And then over here are things I need to focus on, which are going to be useful throughout the game. So these are not as important. So uh, I can so kind of set them aside and just need, keep them in the back uh, of my head. But these ones the are useful here and you need three gems, throughout the game. You're short on gems. Thank you for watching. Thank you so. for uh, letting us, us hear that. I love compliments. I love them. Cool. And uh, compliments to the game is nice too, I guess. <laughs> So Ash is pulling back right now. All right. So regrouping, the wizard is summoning a worker, which costs any one resource. And the worker is coming home to, to work this curved knife space, but what she's done is slotted a gold there instead. Mm -hmm. Instead of producing a tool, it now produces a gold, which is a wild. And then all of your units come right back to ready. And you're ready to go. But we got we go back to the rats. Uh, now you could pull back. You don't have to go out there with everything. You you have that yeah, choice. Okay. But you could go keep going. All right. Uh, can I? I can't go in the same space as one of my you workers. You cannot right? go in the same okay. space as one girl. There is a faction that can do that. The pirates Ooh. have that ability. Okay. Uh, but the ratlings do not. Uh, I need and summon portal scroll. are two separate things I can use on there, right? <laughs> so no, this is this. Oh, it's just a summon two. portal. And, okay. gonna, and this is a and, it, and it's a mill. It's the old mill, okay. so you can dwell if you go to the mill. Oh, uh, and, and that's dead. still the UI that we're working on. Okay, so yeah. Tighter, right? yeah. Things, I feel like it looks like two things. things. I know. Totally, yeah. we're fixing that. Yeah. Okay. You done? Yes. All right. Let's go ahead and go to the dungeon. Let's. let's all right. All right. All right. So the first thing that happens is you draw a tile. Yeah. And then you put that somewhere in Elder Realm, and we're gonna populate that. It might even have another monster that comes out. Now, how about it has a monster? It has a little monster icon in the center. That's the layer icon. We're gonna have something more official in itself. I think I'm pretty sure. It, I, I'm pretty sure this is a monster. Uh, who wants me to fight the monster? I want me to fight the monster. <laughs> that is actually the Death Reaper right there. Okay, so I'm Death sure that's Reaper. gonna be perfect, right? And we also are gonna now, populate this the, as well. Yes, we're gonna populate that with tokens. And the power of the Death Reaper is that you have to fight it alone. You cannot join a battle against the Death Reaper. You must face death alone. And it's four, four uh, dice. Over fifty, but it has to be at the half an hour point, and it is seven thirty-one. Oh, I guess technically, hey, 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 we should do it. Yep, we should count it. it. It does count fifty-one. Yeah. It counts, and it is actually half an hour. All right, so that bonus. In. So we're going to give away some things. The bonus, by the way, is a Sparkle Kitty uh, limited edition enamel pin. Uh, so we might as well maybe we should make this a Sparkle Kitty pool. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we hit yes. it. Yeah, yeah. You guys want to win some oh, Sparkle yeah. Kitty from so breaking games? I have brought uh, basically the whole Sparkle Kitty um, ensemble sweet. here. Sweet. <laughs> Sparkle <gasps> Kitty and Sparkle oh Kitty Nights. Wow. Oh, wow. So for the kids and for later in the evening, um, <laughs> plus the Quantum Pack, which is the STEM it's words. Cool. It's fun, like science. Like doctor, this, this, this is a normal grand prize on my normal stream. And this yeah, is, right. is yeah, the the max, which is no longer available. It's a tabletop day kind of thing. And then some blank pack. You can make your own cards. That's right. super cool. Let's and go ahead and get some. There is, sorry, there's there's two more things. I mean, oh I'm my god, there's even Ashley. more. And more. Safe words, which can go in either the naughty or the nice pack. And team tokens. So we can get those out of there. Oops, we're doomed. Uh, no. <laughs> right. We're not that Come doomed. on, baby. These Keep it at 50 tokens, I'm going to change my mind. <laughs> these tokens allow you to add like team play to your base game. So this yep. whole thing. This is like the, this is what I call the Cali suite. This is yeah. awesome. It's what Cali right. has. Look at all that. Plus this exclusive yeah. pin. We I don't, don't have, have any pin, more of those. That, yeah. and this is for Princess Metal. <gasps> wait, wait, wait. How many pins do you have of that here? <laughs> no 50. Change my mind. Go down. Go down. So that's the bonus. Uh, we could uh, we could do the, um, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that, do that and another shirt. So however you want to Yeah, 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 we can do that. All okay. right, so this is a big one here. Let's push our music on if we can. See if you figure it out. Uh, you got to push the side button. You're not know, using Android, have you? You I swipe it. Swipe it. Left, right or left? Yep, either way. Either way. And then you're going to make an M, like from the... Uh, yeah, there you go. There you go. Everyone okay. knows your password. I don't care. You guys want to come <laughs> Everyone over Everyone knows the password anyway. And then I tap it again? I don't know. Is it, is it, is it going it's on? It's on a mini, so... I don't know. You can hand me the phone. Nice. You can hand me the phone, and then I will give you this to deal out some more wins. If you guys haven't caught, shared and liked, as well as commented, go ahead and do that so we can get you into win games like this. You want to win a full-on... Sparkle Kitty Sparkle set. Sparkle Kitty, designed right. by Manny Vega, everybody. Awesome. Friend of the program. 
And oh, that's my little thing. The winner of this mega Sparkle Kitty package is Mark Roberts. Mark Roberts! Mark Roberts! Yeah, yeah, Mark! Okay. There's knights, there's princesses, there's uh, all sorts of fun with the vampires and werewolves. That one. Give me that. This? Yeah, this that's what I want. That's my power. That's my Here, juice. Let me get this. Oh, you want the whole thing? Yeah, yeah so I can package. get it out of your way. <laughs> I figure you'd Sparkle like to have... Game. Sparkle, 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 Sparkle Kitty is super awesome. Callie has That'll been work. trying to get me to play this, and we just have yeah, not right. had time yet. Oh, man. You need a big group for that one. So we got a party going on in here. So we do another one for the shirt. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 So one more Dwellings of Elder Vale shirt. I want to see you guys wear that around and proud and, and be there to help us uh, shout it out. The shirt is going to Tyler Jones. Yay, Tyler. Woo. Yeah. Thank you for <laughs> That's special effects right there, baby. And clicking, commenting, and helping us out. This is the mist of Elder Vale right now. Hey. Right. We're gonna. This comes in every game, right? And you thought we weren't special. playing the air faction. Um, and yeah, that the air faction, sure. not out there right now. But uh, but you could play as it. But you could play as the air faction. The air is you could play uh, Valkyrie, like a. It's like a. You get like a storm dragon and stuff like that. <laughs> All right, whose turn is it now? I, I just placed this bad boy so down. You went to the dungeon, but you didn't finish your dungeon oh, yeah. turn, which yeah. is that you can go on two adventures. Do you have any resources? Oh, yeah, yeah, I got these guys. Okay, good. So you're gonna need those because every dungeon card right now is a doorway, which costs two. So what do you got? You got two something? Yeah, I got two, two potions. So two potions could buy you the chaos one. You've got. Uh, do you have two tools? It's keep. It's keep. It's you also have a wild. Yeah. So let me see. Yeah, you've got two tools. You can buy the darkness one. You now, are, if I buy, if I buy a tool and a tool, can I get this back? As, you, as yeah, you get changed. So you don't change. lose any change. So you no, I don't want, she wants to, she's going for purple, so maybe I don't want to fight her on that. You, you know? can also buy potions over here. We'll buy you the water doorway. Uh, to get your light doorway, you would need two gems. That is actually your short on the gem, so you can't do the fire or the light. Okay, so what would you suggest I do since you're not really... You're not, All right, you're well, what I would suggest since you get changed, and I like to buy two of them if I can, yep. I would buy one that costs the two tools, which is the only one available is darkness. Okay. And then get that potion change, and I'd buy either the chaos or the water. Which one seems good to you? Well, Chaos, you're going to be fighting, and Water, you're going to be on your own to get And there's this. no Water here except for this one here, right? Right. All right, I'll go, for, I'll go for Water. Okay, go so you're going to buy the Death's Door, which is the dark one. Yeah. Well and it's going to cost you two tools. Okay, so this, this, and my, and my coin here. And you're going to put that on the right side of your board. So, these, so that you would keep your tableau. Yeah. It's a little crowded, but you will figure it's it okay. out. Okay, and then I'm also And then you're also going to buy the Water Doorway, the Coral Archway. And you're going to have those two things to work with when you pull back. Is it also going to cost me? It's going to cost you two potions. So you're going to spend okay. that potion. That's it. Then you get the scroll back. So then, uh, no, no, no. If this is an either or. That's oh, an either that's or. An either yeah. or. So what's going to happen now is you've just gone to the dungeon. Now the two realms that you bought from oops, are going to come back up. That one's staying out. So this one's going to come up. So we have a new, we have a cemetery on the darkness track, and we also have. Uh, a treasure map on the water realms. Ooh, so if, if any time <laughs> you want to see what these are, that's why we made these trays. They're completely you passable. Yeah. Uh, you can you can say, let me just pour over these and see because see the cost and what you want to do with it because they all do something completely different. Okay. That's really nice. That's something we noticed playing the prototype. So yeah, yeah, good yeah. job Thank problem you. solving. That. Now problem with, with solving. my cards, what do they do? What do so I what, so when you have a regroup turn, they act like these spaces. You can pull back and use those spaces. So the doorways, you always get something. So like your your death's door, you're always gonna get a potion every time you go there. But yep. you can slot something into the other slot. As long as it's from the treasure. As area. long as you get a treasure token Beautiful. slot in there. So you can get two things when you go to the death's door. All right. All right. So you did the dungeon action. Yep. It is now back to Ashley. Go. We'll fight it. Somebody's gonna fight it. It'll probably be me. I, I like fighting stuff. That's not Thank right. you for signing up for the dwellings, you guys. Thank when you, you sign up much. to that, if, when you sign up to that uh, email address, we're gonna add you to the win as well. Let us know that you signed up. Let us know that you shared right. as well as commented, so and we will also get you in the basket. And you did your turn. What's more, wins more wins for more winners. Uh, you are starting. Jesse there. Fernandez so like you, you and James Reed and I thank you guys for joining up. Throw them in. Throw them in. Bam. Fireball's still showing. We got nothing showing now. Hopefully, it's it's lagging weird. Um, so my stream, like you guys, we just did the kitty drawing. Yep. But the comments are. Oh, okay. Further along, like so, it's yep. we, it's Facebook. Whatever is going on tonight, it's okay, Facebook. Yeah, 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 yeah. Facebook. Yeah, yeah. The I'll Facebook realm has big power. And right. So, I uh, so you get that token get the... now. You if you already have four tokens, yeah, already you've got to two. spend one, but you get to convert it into resources. So you can spend that to turn into a card. Yeah, yeah, I want to do cards. The air realm is back. 
That's it. All right, so you got a card. You went somewhere. Uh, I've got to start collecting some things. Yeah, he's going for some. Either a gem or a sword. So this gives me an option of both. And it's back to Ashley. Now you have to operate from where you are. Now, interestingly, you could dwell there. Um, you know how normally you have to go here to dwell? Mm -hmm. You can actually step in the mill and dwell, like, uh, and then build a house right now. I can do that? Yeah. I, I have enough. You need to three tools wow. right there, but you actually you have the one tool, one tool, uh, The one drawing, tool. this past one was Mark tool. Roberts and Mark Tyler. Mark Roberts won the drawing, by the way, guys, you missed And yeah. Tyler yeah. Jones and for the Tyler shirt. Tyler Jones for the awesome. t-shirt. Okay, I'll do that. Then. Okay. So you're going to um, take either one of these units and step on the mill. Tyler Jones. Okay, so Ashley is going to go to the mill. And when you do that, you're making a dwelling. So she's choosing this one. Because that's the only one she has out there on an elemental realm. And you got to pay three tools. One of which is with a token. One's an actual tool. And one, she's using a gold to pay for that. So you take another house and put it on. She's going to dwell again? Ah, you yes. guys are killing me here. And she's going to score points now, which is two points for every adjacent ruin. So two. And then two more is four. four. And two points for every adjacent dwelling, so she benefits from Callie making the real estate better around this area. <laughs> so six points. Alright, so she's up to ten points. And this is a dual darkness realm, so you're actually going to go up two in darkness, mm. all going up to that orb. Alright. Pretty smart to dwell in your starting uh, faction affiliation. Alright. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to pull back and go... Okay, so the rats are coming back. Away. She goes to her fountain, she gets two okay. potions. There's one. But she's got a special thing in there. Oh, when you pulled back the last time, you're actually supposed to bring this dude. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Sorry, we, did, we missed that, so you're going to have an overcreep. I thought he was just there forever. No, no yeah. you get to pull it back every time uh, you come okay. back. I'll also... I don't want to... Yeah, I'll summon a worker, but I'll spend two cards for it. Okay, so the cards are resources, so that yeah. counts. And now you have another worker, and you've, um, and you've got two more to pull back. No, but I should dwell. Yeah, I guess I'll. D no, I can't dwell. You need a potion. Right. Yeah. Or can I dwell? No, you can dwell. That guy goes to the dwell spot. Yeah. This one is the one that turns into a house. Uh huh. And lives just, into the chaos realm, which the rats love. And it's just one potion. Okay, so you pay the potion and you make it a house. Now, what that does is it's going to pop you up one more on chaos. Woo, chaos. And you score two, four. Two more because you're next to Ashley, so six points for you. Helping each other out. Damn. <laughs> 19 points, all right. So, two dwellings for each of you. Michael still has yet to live in this world, <laughs> but it's his turn. All right. The clerics of the dawn, they're trying to overwhelm with numbers. Uh, I'm they have four right. units on the board. Now, if. If I didn't make one of my units go, one of my workers go from here to the underworld, regardless of what effect it is, does it still come back? My workers? Regardless, your clerics can never stay in the underworld. They come, they bounce right back. Hmm. It's an interesting power because and you, magic cards are these guys here, right? Yeah, all three types are considered a magic card, but they break down the spells. And play a card does not in, involve me placing. I can place and yes, they're I, totally a free action to play cards. Okay. So you have a lot of really cool tactical things you can do with those cards. Uh, Let's see what else Ashley's got cooking. She's got what does dominate mean? Dominate means you take over the monster and it becomes your unit to uh, use the rest of the game until it dies. So I'm going to place this guy cool here. Stuff. I'm going to place right. this guy here and fight this this bad guy. Okay, so you stepped into the death. Uh, but I also get one of these guys right here, you do. right? You always get the thing. Okay. And now you're going to fight death, which... I think I've got the advantage on you. You're rolling four <laughs> dice. You are rolling one measly little die. You cannot join fight, with your... Fight! 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 You fight! Can spend fight, sword. fight you have sword? No, no, I got nothing. You do have a sword. I'm not going to waste that. No, right, no, right, no, right. no. Four fight, dice. Come fight, on, death. Fight! Fight! Come on! No! Oh my god, I got a three. A three high is enough. Three beats the two. Oh my... The, the monsters are having a So my guy actually here. goes here, but he comes you back get a sword, to here. You do get a sword. Yes. Because you did visit for a second. Yeah. You stamped your passport in the underworld, and you're back, and the Death Reaper laughs. And I'm also going to play a card, if that's okay. Darkness, by the way, illustrated by Irina Kuzmina. She, she, I asked all the artists what they I'm wanted. I'm going to move one of my units like, from, I'm gonna move darkness, my units from Elder Veil vale into the <laughs> underworld, and then instead of gaining a sword... Uh, I'm going to draw three magical cards. So okay. it'll go here, All right. but then it'll come and over it'll bounce here. bounce back, and then you get three cards. So that is the... Now, wait a second. That was a uh, spell right. called uh, Ritual, right? That's right. And it costs something to play One it. sword. It does cost... Either you have to be 
in the darkness realm to do it because it is a dark spell. Now, when I, oh, or in the area there, there, yeah. You pay a sword. Ah, so okay. if you can pay a sword. But I get a sell my sword. I got a sword anyway, yeah, so. so. Oh, okay. All right, so you cast Ritual. Right. And it's now I'm going to get to draw three cards. And, you, and then, did I give you the three cards? Nope. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yes, yes you did. did. Yes, you did. All right. Nice. I like bonus. So you have a hand, bonus cards. hand limit of seven. So if you're over seven, you got to get down to seven. Oh, I'm too sorry. sorry. There's five, limits. Six, seven. Down. All right. Let me see what I want to do here. You can get Poking rid of a quest limits, that you don't think you're going to do. Yeah, so there's a, let's see. You've also got um, quests. This one says you have to have at least two swords. And if you can do that, you can okay, turn this into a point for every sword. So I you can collect up to five All right, swords. I'm good. Okay. And this one... Win a battle with a monster with a single worker. Okay. So if you walk in on that death guy and can take him down with one mo- worker, which is what he just tried to do, you get some points for that. Okay. So they just give the quests give you something to work on while you're already doing mm-hmm. other stuff. I usually don't try to go out of my way to do it unless I'm right there. Okay. And, and I can also put these that. guys in here too, right? You can totally slot those at any Once time. Once they're slotted, that's it. They can't that is. Back. They're locked in. Right. You can always replace it, but you'll throw out the thing. That and I still need to place my dude down too, right? You just played a spell I, at the beginning? Right. I thought you fought. You went in and fought. That was your turn, right? Did I? Okay, go, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's such so a long turn. Ashley. All right, your turn, Ashley. So now you can't do that, oh. unfortunately, because you have to go adjacent to where you are, and you're next. You're Come on, push him up, guys. If you, you haven't voted, there, you guys can go ahead and vote for any three of us to win there, this game. And if you do, does. you have a chance you of winning all there. these prizes in the back that round over here. These are all the prizes we're giving away, as well as a uh, bunch of secret stuff. And if we can have a hundred, which probably not a hundred, but if we could, if you all, if you could, yeah, if you pushed it hard, we would send away a mini to somebody. All right, I'm gonna be daring. I'm gonna go to the dungeon. Okay, the dungeon, which means you're going to explore Eldervale. And what do you right. get? A we darkness realm. Darkness. Like, yeah, no. Oh, okay, I don't want to. So you put it, it like anywhere. This is a little tight, but anywhere you want to make room, we'll make room. Okay, maybe over here. All right, she's so gonna put it up there. Sorry. Got <laughs> no worries. It's got a couple of gems on it. Now it gets a stack of tokens as well, and uh, then um, it's oh man. Okay. Okay. Darkness. Now you get to buy two cards. So do you need to yes. know what the cost of these are? What are you interested um, in? So I got. I'm going to do the two potion For your chaos, your astral yes. gate. Yes. So you do that. Now and you're going to gain power in chaos. Yeah. And then I'm going to do... Where are no, you I getting all give, these powers I did not give me. Michael water power, and I did not give Michael darkness power. If yeah. you forgive me, you bought cards as well. I'm going to do two tools for the... Is it the darkness? The darkness, the cemetery, costs two tools. Okay, yeah. Now, I'll, I'll read what that says. It says, whenever you place a unit in a darkness realm, you gain a tool. So this is a passive oh. ability that you don't need to use a worker to do. And so you do that, and then you actually enter the darkness realm also. So everyone's coming everyone's into your territory. In <laughs> I'm not going to go anymore, though, on that one. <laughs> so she says. The rats are My turn? There. So then it looks like it's your turn. She's yes. done two things. Oh, but the monster. Does the monster come to me? Oh, yes, it does. Okay. You step near darkness. So the mar- so death, the Death Reaper marches in. Yeah. That's all right, because I have capture. Oh, wow. And I have... But a monster so rushes in a realm. You can't cast capture unless you're three high in chaos, which she is. Or if you, or the other way you can do is you pay two swords. Okay. But she has that much chaos power, so what does it do? Uh, play when a monster rushes into a realm that contains one or more of your units. Dominate the monster. Okay, so that's spent. And now what happens is you take that Death Reaper, and it goes to your ready area. <laughs> it is your Death Reaper now. Okay? So now, cool. it's yours until it goes to the Underworld. It rolls yes. four dice. Does she go up on the Darkness Track, too? What was that? Does she go up on the Darkness Track for having this monster? She, no? uh, she beat the monster, so now what happens is she either chooses Glory okay. or chooses to gain Darkness. One of the uh, two. I'll choose glory. So she's choosing glory, which is two points right now. Where are you ding ding. Oh, am I on the darkness? He, he bought, he bought, darkness he bought a darkness card. Yeah. So right, if you well. buy cards, you're also going to get that power. So for you, if you just buy a darkness card and get in that one more dwelling, you're going to get to that orb. So the darkness card now is the assassin's blade, where you can turn swords into two things that you can slot. And the chaos mm-hmm. card is mass of <laughs> tentacles, where one thing will basically be a roll, and you'll see what you get. <laughs> All right, I went and placed. I'm done. Nice okay. and quick. Dropped a guy down there. Picked up one of these. You can go once you know the game. It's like you're up, Ashley. So mm-hmm. Ashley, you got one. Uh, Mr. So Jones in here. Is, so that's where you have to work from. Either this unit or that unit. So I can put this here. You can totally go there. Yeah. Oof. Air. 
And where do I put this if I don't have? So if you don't have room, you have to convert one of them into it. So I would convert that gem into a thing. So, well, you don't want to do that. I need. Oh, but no. it's the same thing. Like you'll you'll get one of these, and if you're spending it, you it's it just there, useful then. as a gem. Yeah. I don't know how we manage. We just do it. We just you can all strap on our boots. She's talking anything about anything my you hand. <laughs> it's anyone you want, really. You could also turn that card one into a thing and just get a card right Yeah. Do you get a card right now? Dump that, get a card, right? And then put that slot out there. So, so you can take you a card. One of these. Make sure you have less than seven. Yeah, I do. Oh, something right. at the end of the game. June 19th for Kickstarter, correct? June 19th. June 19th, guys. Check it out. Dwellings right. of Eldervale. Let's go ahead and pop up that, that, that image of the uh, beautifulness so you guys can get a chance to see what it looks like. So, um, let's see what we got. That is the game cover there. right there, guys. <laughs> Now, there's a uh, the game cover has not been shown either. We've been using this temporary one, which will probably be there'll be a we're looking at making a, a Kickstarter exclusive sleeve where you can have a monster as the cover. But that cover is uh, yeah, is what we're working on. Nice. All right, I'm gonna go over here with my wizard. Okay. Grab a potion. Now she can yeah. teleport all the way over there. That's how yeah. she pulled that off. All right, I'm up now. You're up. I don't got a lot of resources left, so they can make make me kind of sad. I can go fight. These now. I can go fight Callie though, couldn't I? You could. There you go. Step in there and then you can drag your warrior in there to fight. So you can get a lot of dice against her puny little I'll send your, my monster against you. <laughs> there are spells that will bring stuff right out of your ready area, mm -hmm. right out of the board. There's an air spell to do that, so mm -hmm. there's some fun stuff. And then to play this one, that would be like a regular Just like a regular worker. worker. And that okay. particular one has to go adjacent to any of the other workers. It still has fear, meaning that um, no one can join. No. So basically, you choose to do that with the, with that guy. I would yeah. wait till you had an advantage. How do you concede a battle? So you just say, I'm not I'm not winning this one. There's, I know there's one quest where you just give up at the start mm -hmm. of a battle. And what if I do? I would lose a battle. I'd go to Underworld, gain yeah. a sword. Yep. And what would they get for winning? The uh, glory. They move up on the track then. Yeah. They now, do you go on the same? Now, if I, if she's here, right, yes. Callie? So if I fought her, she just go up next to me. You, yeah. Basically, you take one step at a time. The first okay. one's for points. The second one's for any resource. The third one's for power. The fourth one is for an orb. And these victory points are literally just victory points in the track there. Absolutely. You score about twenty okay. to forty percent of the game during the game, and then you score the remaining sixty to eighty at the end of the game. Okay. I'm going to just, let's go ahead and start slotting some of these guys in. Okay. And then I am going to return. You're going to pull back. Yeah, you're going to regroup. Back. So I'm going to take all my dudes back. You can do that one at a time because it shows people what yeah, you're doing. Yeah, it's true. I'm actually going to go ahead and... So I'm going to take this guy off here, right? Okay. And I'm going to... So I want to dwell on here, right? But okay, I need so to have... If you want to dwell on there, it's gonna, you're going to need three I gems. I don't think I have the three gems, this. though. Can you pull that off through this one turn? One and two. Mm -hmm. uh, so close. Maybe you don't want to pull back yet. If you really pull, want that you dwelling... Pull, you can dwell there. I can dwell here, I suppose. Go in darkness. Yeah, it's better than yeah yeah. It only cost what's it gonna cost me a tool? Yeah, a tool is that? What's this guy? That's just a tool, huh? Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. A tool. Okay, so I, what I'll go over right, here. So pulling back. I'm gonna go over here. I'll drop it this lead in here, right? So he goes She's to death's door. A potion, or, and then or a, a tool. tool. Well, I got a potion here. Oh yeah, you have a potion, yeah, potion, potion right? and then you have it slotted. So a potion, and then I also get a tool as well because it's slotted, okay. and I can put him here. Right. And then I can go ahead uh, with. I guess this guy, right? Yeah. And something different dwell. than the one that you want to dwell with. Yeah. And then I tool. I got paid a tool. And, then and Michael ahead. has built his first dwelling in Eldervale. Yeah, just a little baby one. Uh, it does what it needs to do. It's, uh, yep, the cleric does one of them there. All right, there it goes. Now score like it's four scary points. in the dark realm, so what's going to happen is you're right. going to get four points. Yep. One, two, three, four. And uh, you go up one in darkness for that. Yep. Oops. And then we're going to go ahead and bring this guy back to my sundial, which is also going to get me another potion, and it's going to net me a gem. Okay. And I'll go ahead and put him here. He's pulled back. It's back to. And then Shadow these guys game. are all going to come back to me just yep, like this. Exactly. So, actually, right, you've right. got all your units out there, so you're going to pull back. And you're going to get a gold for that one. Uh -huh. That one. They're trying to sing a Dwell in Darkness, or a Darkness, My Old Friend, or and whatever. These yeah. two, which this one can't dwell here, and that one can't dwell there, so basically only one of them can use the summon. You guys still think these two are going to win? Or because or really. You just have them both come back here and just save your I have dominated this. This so is far. your real special unit, so if you could get him out, well, you could, because you could spend this 
And that tool and that sword, you give your your death knight. So some more for you. Your dragon out. Or, you also get the dragon out, which is another one of your special. Uh, uh, here it is somewhere in so here. Dragon. Every time you spend the dragon out there, it's going to yank a unit from the underworld back to your ready area. So you're going to have no problems with standing there. This is a meaty game. <laughs> this? You want to buy this? this? Alright, so this is three swords. This one, so I can do if that. you save up... Okay, so you're going to want to go to the dungeon next. Mm -hmm. So, whatever... If you if you really want this, I would not spend your swords right okay. now. Yeah, I really want that. So maybe what you should do is pull back and just get, get yourself ready, and then and you'll then... have the resources you need to go shopping. Yep. Alright, then this thing comes back too, and you're ready to go. Uh, I'm going here. I'm going there. I mean, this my area. You can't come in here. <laughs> act like you own the place. I mean, it's, just, it's not a noise. I know. The house is empty right now. <laughs> <laughs> the dwelling is empty. Right. Nobody's home. Yeah. Should we make dwellings hats? <laughs> right? I mean, that'd be good one. That seems like a good spot, right? All right. You get to choose one of those tokens. Ooh. I mean, it's like... So Extra he's taking some swords and comes back around. Um, now, you're standing here in the dungeon, right? Yeah. Yeah. So the problem, you can't, I didn't see that she was in the dungeon. You can't go there until she leaves. Or Can you have to go her? adjacent and then you have to walk in. So if you want to get to that dungeon, you, you could take a move and like step here and then be prepared to walk in. All right, I'm lowering it down then. <laughs> All right, so we're deciding that. So Ashley's coming. I just need to take a potion because when the stack of tokens is gone, you still get something. Oh, okay. You Thanks. always get something That's from okay. every elemental realm. Yeah. So she went into the chaos realm, um, stayed at Callie's house, got a potion <laughs> of something. Okay, I'm and gonna. And it's gonna use it to poison Callie in the dungeon, something right. like that. Yeah, I'm gonna bring. Wait. Oh, still amazing. got a giant death reaper. Yeah. <laughs> so she can just go wherever. So she takes her death reaper to the mage tower. You gotta spend two of anything. Yep. To get three cards. I think I'll spend these two swords here. Okay. And then there's three cards, and you have to get rid of a card this from card your one. hand. Okay. From your total. Oh, it can be. One it can be from ones you already had. Yeah, yeah, you can cycle a card okay. out that way. Yeah. And let's see, let's go back over the ones that... So you have one that says at the end of the game, if you have all of the workers summoned, you get points. So you might want to get those. You still have this Ace in the Hole spell. You still have one of these. Actually, mm -hmm. <laughs> you want to buy this. This spell could do it. Now, the only downside is you either have to have a lot of order power, which you don't have, or you have to spend two scrolls. What are you doing moving your you dude over there? So you if you couldn't get in there, you could use this. I'm just chilling. But no, now you're, you're next <laughs> door, so you might just want to walk in. All right. Okay. Now I can't put my uh, I can't put my dude over here. Uh, you can fly over there. Yes, you can. And I'd have to fight Kelly then, right? Yes. And she could bring her guy. In she here, could right? absolutely do that. <laughs> okay. Okay. So now what's going to happen is you're going to use the dungeon first. You always oh. get to do the thing. Yeah. So you get to explore out the veil at this yep. point. All right. You can come over here, buddy. Oh, that's another monster. Yeah, I got three, one of the monsters, three monsters, monsters in a anywhere. row. Three monsters. This is the demon of might, and that is living right there. Now, it, I should tell you what the power is before I put it there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It actually stomps on dwellings. It doesn't It doesn't remove them, but it hurts the owner of that dwelling. So that, oh, that's really? Good, so you might not want to put it, so that's why you don't put it next to yourself. I see. In that case, it'll go here. Oh, boy. <laughs> right next to you, too. I'm Hey, I can't get to her. Period. Yeah, a Unless I put, well, I could put it over. There. Actually, what, now how do I? How would it choose between these two? So w it's basically when someone steps near it, it walks towards them, right? <coughs> so, it's, you know, basically, yeah, it's gonna be yeah, dangerous for them. That's there. a nice one over there. Right there. Right, okay, okay, that's that's a better play. All right, and then um, I your house. so I, I also <laughs> sorry I squish your house. I also <laughs> get to go ahead and buy some you some do. magical spells. Now, would you like to know what's available? What are you looking for? Yeah, yeah I've got potions. I've got swords. I've got uh, so, gems. Okay, there's there's a fire one for two gems. There's a, a light one oh. for two gems, and there's a Chaos one for three gems. Is it only gems? Is yeah, there's three gems and there's swords and scrolls. How much are so what's the swords one? The three swords. Three right? swords! Ooh. 
I don't have no, enough. I have have what else? He's just strong. Uh, we've got. I can't, see, I can't see. I know. Over there, okay? Would you like to see the yeah, tray? Yeah, yeah. I can't. Absolutely. I can't see. So I'm just kind of. Well, I'm just saying you keep going for the stuff that I want. I'm, I'm <laughs> not going. I, I'm just going for whatever. I don't know if you can. I, yeah. No, I don't have two gems, unfortunately. I can't buy any. I can't buy any of these ones. Oh, it's eight now, o'clock now. Here's the thing, though. We we sh- we didn't talk about this roll before, so we just let this pass. But you're normally not allowed to go into a realm unless you can take the action. So if you cannot buy something, you but I can place a thing down though. So it has to be everything. It has to be at least one card. We, I didn't explain that rule, so we can just let you do that. But in the future, you have to be able to buy one adventure. Mm, okay. okay. I mean, so we'll just <laughs> bypass I, I, that for right now. I could, I could, enough. I could trade multiple resources to make up for it for a card, <laughs> like three of something for a two card. You don't have enough. Okay. So, but there's going to be a fight now. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fight and then a drawing, I guess. Yeah. Eight o'clock. All right. So, this this could be a, we'll see, so what happens now is it goes clockwise from him and who wants to come in. So it comes to Ashley, you could join the fight if you wanted to. You don't want to, you're going to just pop popcorn and watch this happen. Then it goes to Callie who could join yeah. with her other units. Ah, uh, so, but if this one has fear. So that one still. says no, no one can join. So basically at the moment where you join, no one else could yeah. come in ah, because he'd okay. be there. Okay. But you could join with all, what you. Bring it in, come on. Yeah. So you bring your rat first and then it would be him. Oh, if you want I your rat in there. Yeah, you really? yeah, yeah, mine's so you're, okay, so you have to make sure okay. you're I'm just going to retreat. And I'm going to oh, go to Underworld. Yeah. <laughs> you get to roll dice. I mean, I could choose. To, you said I could choose to just not fight, though, right? You too, oh, yeah, you're doing your quest? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And so let's, also, also when, he goes, when he goes there, I get to score VP. You do. You have a glorious demise. And if right. I choose to, it says complete the quest, you must concede to battle when battle is triggered. And yeah. I get to gain three additional victory points. There you go. Well. And a sword. And a sword, yep. Three additional victory points. So it just seemed like a good play. Three. I get to go here, place one. Hopefully, I get to buy a card, which now I could have bought one. Um, and then I also get all the goodies. So, yep. so you the points. You actually can hold on to your quest because there are some things that reward you for quests. Additional quests throughout yeah. the game. Oh, okay, cool. All right, so then uh, that was your play. <coughs> the game's time length is probably, what, an hour? It's two hours. Two hours? It's a two-hour game. It depends on the number of players and how well you... It's about 30 minutes a player. Yeah. But it is, it's a chunky two-hour game. Okay. Mm-hmm. I didn't warn everybody that at the start. So <laughs> it's okay. I mean, I was hoping people could come in any time to check it yeah, out. Yeah, they can come in and now rewatch it later. All right, so Ashley, it you, was your turn. Did you want to walk in there and take the dungeon? Uh, you, get the the right you get to do the action. You the action, and then you'll fight Kelly. I can do this right instead. Uh, you can do that instead. Yeah, if you didn't want to walk in there. Better. Uh, it depends on your if you care about those scrolls or not. Like if you go in there, um, let's see if you could buy anything else. I mean, technically speaking, you could buy um, the fire card or the light card. So if you want two cards, I'd walk in there. If you just want the one and you don't want to mess with Kelly's. Yeah, just, yeah. Okay, so she's going to cast a order spell called Create. She doesn't have any order power, so she has to pay two scrolls, which she did. And that means you get to select and pay for any adventure card. So she's going for the Assassin's Blade, which is a three-sword card, giving her her first uh, adventure card. It's a really cool one. And that's going to bump you up one in darkness when you acquire that card. And now you still get a turn, because that wasn't your turn. There was just a spell. Ooh, and Necromancy came up, which allows you to control monsters, just like Kelly did. Longest standing game? For five players, what? Maybe, what was it when you said the I'd longest? say 30 minutes per player. So if you had five, I think it's going to attack another 30. But, but if experienced players, I like, think you can still knock it out in two hours. Yeah, so it's maybe that's the longest game. Well. What's that? You can't go with um, uh, they're asking if you guys are going to any of the East Coast cons. Yeah, well, uh, no, uh, uh, yeah, we were Gen Con just, for us, but you. We were, we were just at PAX East. Um, what's the next East Coast Drop one that um, we, we our main our, our main office is on the East Coast. We hit all the East oh, Coast cool. cons. You'll see breaking That's games cool. all over the That's East Coast. An, yeah. Gotcha. They have to fight purple though, right? Yeah. Uh, did you just teleport in there? Yeah. You can't teleport to occupied. Oh, oh yeah, right. yeah. It says oh, on there. Yeah, wizards in any are unoccupied realm. Unoccupied teleports. Yeah, you have to see where you're going. Me. No, that's a good good move though. Otherwise, that one. But then the monster will go. At the monster will go at you, and if you get anywhere close to that. Yeah, you know. never mind. Now, now if you, you wanted to attack Callie's building, she could drop <laughs> it in there too. Give her, give her a little little taste of hate. <laughs> Because that demon wants to, uh, he's got uh, the demon of might rolls five dice, is immune to fireballs, and does the uh, damage to dwellings. Do I have to put one on the board? 
you do. That's uh, either you, you're pulling back everything or you're putting one on the board. So you're going to go to Jarkus. Yeah, you got a card. Place. Okay. So you did your thing, you bought the Assassin's Blade. What's really cool about this is when you pull back, you can spend one sword to get two things. So you want to start collecting swords now if you can. Okay. And you have one you can use as a sword. All right. I'm going to pull back. Okay, All right. So rats are going home. This still stays with her forever? Oh. No, yeah, it comes back again. It's her unit okay. until it dies. Jeez, really? Yeah. That's so powerful. She's it's so it. strong. Okay. Yeah. So she slotted something into her okay. astral gate, which means she gets a a, a gem, and she and also get to gets choose. a yeah, to okay. choose. Is there a green faction? There is Earth. Yep. Yeah. All right. Pull it back. Earth cards are all about growth and, and definitely. How, how else can you gain a, a monster like that? Is that just is that the only there's, card? There's cards in death, like for example, necromancy just came up. There's yeah. cards in chaos that do it. So if you're playing with those two elements, you're going to see a lot of monster domination. Mm. And there's also a couple spells that will take care of it as well. Death, you need and four potions. That's huh? it. You need four potions to get necromancy. And it only works if you slot an orb on there because it is not easy to bring back monsters from the dead. This basically, at the beginning of every turn, if you don't have one, you get one. So that's pretty powerful. On the first turn, first placement. First he can, placement, he can just come in charging anywhere you want. So can I actually drop him? So right now I can drop him anywhere I want? Yeah. Or? Including the monster space, including Kali's wizard. Drop in, cause some stuff. The rattling warrior. Um, he's going to look, he's, he looks like a, he's an experiment, like a Frankenstein, that warrior. Oh, you're, sorry, that, that's the Rattling Warrior. Bam. You're playing the Clerics Warrior, which is a very mighty... All right, I'm, I'm jumping on that dude. All right, so this Fire Demon is not happy about that. Now, it goes, <laughs> back, it goes all the way around to Callie, who can come in with the Rat Wizard. We'll pass. No, thanks. Okay. So there's going to be a battle here where the Fire Demon is rolling five dice to your two. Wait, did I go up when Michael... Oh, when he conceded, yeah. he did not. Sorry, I'm so sorry. About that. So you resource. actually get a free resource of your choice, gold or a spell. Is usually uh, after this turn, we'll give away we'll give away something else. I know it's I know you guys are waiting. It's eight oh six, but uh, we're good. Right, we're right, not sorry, done. Sorry. So I get I'm gonna get two die here. Should we do it to see who should win this battle? Should we do like a discipline? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's do a vote. Let's do a vote. I mean, the demon's got five, but he's a little scrappy warrior. He might Let's do, do a vote. I've vote, been rolling. Who do you think's gonna win, awful. demon or I? Now wait, we're gonna give him time. We're gonna give him time. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, vote, yeah, yeah. vote, vote. I'm not gonna roll it just yet. For me, I'll just. Roll the first one. Then so you got time. Right. This is your timer, and then we're gonna roll. Uh, you go, go ahead, go ahead, and figure it out. So Ooh. you get to decide while they're doing that. You should actually say if you're gonna spend swords to make your warrior beefier. Yeah. Because that'll affect their vote. Um. Because right. you're rolling two dice right now, and I'm rolling five. You gonna you gonna beef oh, that up? I'm not. Oh, he thinks he can do it with just two dice. Everybody. I'm not. I only need two. Yes, come on. You got. You have some faith. Have some faith. I got two dice. No, got five. Demon but I've got, got this luck. One. I've got come luck on, on my side. 20 seconds. We're giving 20 more seconds. You guys vote demon or unfiltered gamer. Uh, uh, two <laughs> dice versus five. I only need two. I'll roll two oh. sixes and be done with this. Fly My guy was fools. supposed to be back here anyway, because I had pulled back. Oh, All you right. pulled back. All right. Yeah, so mm. you weren't even there. Oh, you weren't even there. Yeah. She was a, it was an illusion of a wizard that was there. <laughs> it wasn't actually there. All right. All right. That, that, that ends our timer there. All right. And Let's see about this demon. Come on, demon. Okay, Let's get the come sixes. On. Boom. Five and one? Uh, six, five. Dang it! Oh. Toast. So my guy got so goes toasted. to the underworld, and you get a sword because you're pissed off. That's right. I don't, I don't mind that at all. I'm not done. So whoever voted for the uh, demon, you just got another entry. Are we going to pull now? Yeah, yeah. All right. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and gain my, get, get my guys back and gain a point for each one that I got back. Oh, so you're going to cast healing. Which is a cool light spell where these these come right back to you and you get a point per one two, which is a really cool spell. And you can do that like right before your turn too. That's that's what really if you're out of units, everyone thinks you're not gonna be able to go. If you heal and then you can take your turn. So we're gonna give us something away? Yeah, yeah, let's give something away. Mm -hmm. Well, the uh, the clerics might be feeling doomed after the uh, uh, fire demon. My guys don't die, they come back. <laughs> fire demon caused some doom there. So this is a brand new game from Breaking Games. Where Doom plays four to ten players yeah. and only lasts fifteen minutes because it's the end of the world and you have to build a rocket with the other players and there might not be enough seats. We played for this everybody. last week, so you guys yeah, may yeah. or may not have seen it. Uh, it was the week before last, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're yeah. so. This game is intense, <laughs> but it's 
super fun. It's, it's like the opposite one. amount of time as this game, though. Yeah. This game takes two hours. That one takes 15 minutes. So you ready? Can... Do it. All right, Come all right. On. For Doom. All right. And we're giving this to Heather Schwartz. Okie dokie. Congratulations. Yay. Hope you have a fun party night with War Doom. Heather Schwartz, right. well done. Yeah. This may, it's welcome. definitely if you fun. You miss this giveaway, but we'll get you on the next one. Are we doing a shirt or not? Yeah, we'll do a shirt. T-shirt like shirt. as well. Shirts. T-shirt. All right. Oh, what yeah. I want one. I want to pick one. I'm going to yeah. pick one. All right, Dogs of Elder Vale. Now, this, somebody go for me. Let's do the, the vote for me and for versus the monster. Yes, it went in. The it monster went in. Went okay, in. it went in. You guys, you guys chose wisely. You didn't pick my vote. <laughs> two, two versus five. I mean, I well, mean, I did beat a monster with one die. You did, you did. Yeah, yeah. The dude was not ready to be this. Who wants a t-shirt? Who wants a t-shirt? I'm going to pick one good. Here we go. All Here right. we go. Tatiana Brito. All right. Tatiana. Oh, yeah. Elder Vale. No, you too. Okay. Okay. You can have me. Them Live in a fire realm or a chaos okay. realm or a Way pretty ocean realm. realm. Well done. Very nice. All right. Cool. That that's right. I spread. I, I, that's, that's where it goes. So you're playing the shadow. The, the, so the shadow of it now. You, you come just come out of the mist. Yeah, I just died. So my guy, that's my guy rising from the ashes <laughs> right there. Okay, so I've risen from the ashes. I ended my my round by getting a bunch of free stuff, which I love. Yeah, and my my, awesome. my two main dudes back. So it's oh, back to David. you. And you have guys on the board, which means you have to go adjacent. Except you have a wizard, so you can actually go anywhere that's unoccupied. And now she's taking those yeah. tools that she wanted, and the demon. Does come in oh. to eat you. Um, There's no dwelling there, at least. No. Um, now, see, the dwellings do add combat dice. So, actually, when Michael was in this fight, these—if he was one of these two players—he would also add a die for that. Okay. And of course, Ashley would as well. But she's next to your dwelling. Can this uh, uh, it can, but you have to play it after the battle. Okay. So lightning bolts are after. So you see if you lose first. Play it too. David, so David, thanks uh, for showing up again, cause, man. Because your I wizard only rolls one. Okay. Now you could spend a sword, which you don't have except for here. You have a sword if you wanted, but your sword's really useful for this. I'd yeah. say save it. That's a Under that's a gem rolls. and a tool. Okay. All right, so you're just rolling one die against the demon. He's rolling five. Okay. You ready for this? You can mm -hmm. do six. I'll just roll yep. a bunch of twos. Yep. You got this. Uh, no, you don't have this. I got a six. <laughs> the, demon, uh, the demon takes out another victim. So your, your wizard goes to the underworld and you get a sword because you're pissed, which actually helps you anyway. Yeah. Um, <laughs> there. So that was bad. Got my lights now. Yeah. <laughs> So I got special effects. Now, keep in mind, if you got your dragon out of the dragon, whatever the dragon place is, pull someone out of the underworld so you'd be able to get that wizard right back out of there. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So, someday a dragon. All right, all right. All right, what are we all gonna right. Do I am going dungeon. Dungeon, all right, there's the tile. You gotta put that tile out somewhere on the Ooh. board. It is the light monster. One of the only ones I don't, I don't have the real light monster here. This is a pre-bought mini. But it's going to be a winged serpent. We actually have a card of what that looks like. Yeah, I think. Um, do I? Oh, no, I don't want to. Wait, this one's the good one, right? That one yeah. helps people. That monster actually gives victory points. Okay. It's a, it's a, right it's a uh, majestic winged serpent. You want to show them that card? You have that one? Do I have that one? You have that. Yes, yeah, I, I do. Have a let's, let's drop one down. Um, it is. This is the card. There you go. Winged serpent. Bam. So the wing Bam. serpent is um, it has that. So if you place next to it or you place on the same realm, it is peaceful. It, you get victory points, uh -huh. and you also don't have to fight it if you're by yourself. So there's that, and then that light realm is ready to go. You also get to buy two things. Yes. What are you interested in buying? Well, I have three gems I could spend for. There's the... a massive <laughs> tentacles here. Yeah, I think I might go for that one. Okay. She likes the chaos cards, obviously, because one more chaos <laughs> card, which costs three gems, immediately gives you uh, power in chaos, which gives you this orb. So we didn't talk about orbs yet, so orbs are really, really cool. powerful. Yeah. The purest form of magical energy in Elder Veil are these orbs. And what that does is you have three different ways you could spend an orb. You can either take one of these free actions at any time, and no one else can take that space. Or you can use an orb on a card like Necromancy, and that powers that card. Or you can Only use specific cards, too, though. Specific right? cards that have an orb on it. Or you can use an orb as an input. And when you use an orb as an input, that you don't have to actually put a token there, which means it's a null cost to get the stuff. Every time you, every time you pull so, back. So, there's a really good uses of an orb. Nice. Okay. 
And I don't like to be. I, I like to tell people, don't be stingy. So you want to don't be stingy with that orb because yeah. you, because it can help the you. Purple? Hmm? You got from purple, didn't you? Yeah. I'm gonna point this out too. The orb is useful even right now. So if you didn't have enough money for another card, you could spend the orb on a free thing to get more money. Uh -huh. So that could help you get bonus cards or get those dwellings done. So okay. um, I have uh, four potions. Let me see what this actually. is. Which one? Well, Lucy, just, just in general. Yeah, yeah. What's, the what's the potion? So you got four Necromancy. potions. If you have an orb on this card, you not already have... You already have one monster. Yeah, it gives you more monsters yeah. if you don't have any. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll stick with what I got. You don't want to buy another one? No, I don't have enough for the other... Yeah, okay, technically yeah. you could um, you could spend the orb to get resources, but I have a feeling you want that orb yeah. over there. <laughs> so here's what happens if you go to the dungeon and you don't buy two. You have to discard and burn one. Oh, the right. second one has to be. So you might want to okay. get rid of this then. Yeah, I If think you don't so. want to look at it anymore. Mm -hmm. So you just take that second one in. I'll make a shadow card cheaper for us too. Yeah, so then we've got, uh, actually it's three tools for the dark aura. And then we've also got three swords for the poison. Are you still buying something? Nope. She's oh, done now. now. Okay. One over here. Oh, we, so right. yeah, we went. So we put our open cast. Yeah. Mind, we make sure I get that. Yeah. Now you can't go there. I have. Why? It's two it's spaces occupied. away. Oh, it's because you are on the board. Yes, yeah. you can go there. Okay, sorry. He wants to fight this thing. I want that. So you're against the demon again. The I demon's am. two for two right now. Yeah, but this time. You're spending swords. Um, oh. You, your dragon rolls three. How many? Is there anything that costs swords? There's three, right? So there is one this for three. Scimitar that costs three. It's chaos. I don't know if you care about chaos. Chris is asking what game right, inspired right, I'm this I'm doing one, so let's give me an extra, one extra uh, die. That's a good question. Dwellings, um, four, Lori, four, four, who one, designed one. Manhattan Project Energy Empire, which is definitely one of the inspirations, oh. has cited on BGG as a list, of, a geek list, which says that there's a little tiny bit of blood rage in here. There's a tiny bit of... He cited a lot of oh, different oh, games. That Concordia is four. like the scoring. Oh, let me go. Let me go. You got four? Four. How many you got? Five. <laughs> okay, David. Right, right, ready? I'm going to... Are going to do another one? All right. The I'm demons only. two for two. We're gonna do this. We're gonna burn another one of the cleric units to the ground. Not yet. Not yet. We got one minute. One minute. You guys vote. 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 Four and five. Now I've actually pumped it up, but you're also gonna have my luck because this is my house. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. No, um, go demon. Go me. Come anyway. on. You guys have to vote. 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 Four versus five. Come on. And then we'll, we'll give him about we'll give him about forty five seconds after he roll too. To Jesse voted Cali. <laughs> Nice. The <laughs> all of a sudden, <laughs> teleports in and destroys. Come on, who's going to win? Now, so basically, if I roll six and he rolls a six, and then we also roll two sixes, we go to the next highest. Yep. Until eventually, if I had none and he had one left, it doesn't matter what the number is. He would right, just right, 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 right. All right, eighteen, seventeen. I'm, I'm. Yeah, get these dice ready. Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's over. It's like a Vegas it's move over. there. Except they're putting bad luck on. <laughs> <laughs> You can control that, huh? Right. As the rattling. <laughs> yes. Floor. Yeah, I see some mics. I see a lot of mics. Good choices. On. One. Bam! No. Okay. Oh, no. Four, three. Four, two, two, one. I got a four, three. Four, three, two, one. Four, oh, three, three. No. Oh. This is a pretty sad day. Oh. We did it. We did it. We did it. Oh. Four, three, does it. The demon wins again. But I get a victory point for him dying. You do get a victory point. Cause, and you get a sword. Yep. Yeah, you get a sword. Thank you. Every time we're gonna do I tried, guys. I really did. They're voting. It. So, Mark. Um, I don't know. Maybe Bree. Uh, maybe if uh, Bree Goldman still watches, she can link that geek list. But there are like so many different game influences in here. Where Luke cites what it was mm -hmm. about the game that he liked and what he wanted to improve on and bring to dwellings. Okay, so it's really cool. All yeah. right, and now you're back up, Ashley. That's it. You're pulled back. Now, uh, uh, luck disappeared. I never had cool luck. Spot. I never win these games, guys. Spot? I don't know why you guys vote for me. What you could do Demons. is plug two things into this card. Yeah. So you could plug like Mark that, Roberts, that. Josh, Josh Tatiana, Daniel, and Sisk. Well, Josh, well done. You voted against me. But I did that before. Uh, I voted you voted against me. As you're pulling back, it's like a free game. action. <laughs> so, like, yeah. right now, you could slot this Assassin's Blade however you feel like doing it. So she's going to put two tools <laughs> two in there. Says, Yay, we're doomed. No. <laughs> <laughs> and then. You're going to put uh, whatever else you want in the second spot. So you want to get cards, you want to get gems, you want to have an option. 
So she's gonna put a gem tool. <laughs> so now every time you take a worker and you come back and use the assassin's blade. Wow, I guess she has a bunch of stuff. Yeah. yeah. So what happens is you take you take one of your two workers and oh. you put it back on the card. Yep. And then it says you have to spend a sword, so that goes out. And then in return, you get two tools, and then your choice of a gem or another tool. A jewel or a tool. Gem. Right. Now you've got one more worker to pull back. That worker can come back to the current gold. knife, or it could yeah. summon. You yeah. can summon your uh, yeah, that's true. Can summon, these guys well. summon your warrior, or summon your uh, dragon. Oh, wait, I don't know. Uh, you, you do know. Yeah. Well, you do oh, yeah. because you can yeah. spend the gold. The, well, no. We, what, well, she needs she needs two gems, but she only has one. She has two. Oh, one did you get that? From oh, she does. You could I spend yeah. You could spend two gems and that and your dragon. So she's gonna summon her. Uh, the Shadow Dragon. Yeah, People are boy. asking who's yeah, winning so far, like judging uh, by what's Callie's going on. winning right now, I think. Based well, a lot of times what you want to look at is cards, because these cards are a multiplier, and dwellings are a multiplier. So yeah. right now, okay. with Callie having three cards, and Callie having two dwellings, and Callie being in the lead here, right. I would put her as the clear Callie winner. The demon. Unless so far. somebody had a Your bunch turn? of go. secret go. prophecy cards, go. and go. had a big yeah. dwelling okay. plan coming. Go. Okay. Go. Yes. okay, cool. Yeah. I'm put go thing down. And get, oh, and you get this guy back too. I get uh, an extra tool since I'm in the darkness so realm. Back and ready to go. Okay, and then this guy moves um, to you. Also, yeah. how big can the board get? To you? The board if I'm alone, uh, can grow. It has, okay. you know, you you have um, yeah. three tiles per element, and so in this game they start, you know, they started with like a dozen or so on the board, and there's another, you know. Okay. It, it grows to, uh, it, it's malleable, and you can kind of work it however you want to grow it, but. It doesn't get too... It doesn't get insanely large. It doesn't get insanely but. large. Um, you can add more. You can like say, oh, I want a longer game, so I'm going to add more tiles if you want to go epic on it. But. Okay. So I can't place here or here unless I do actually remove those resources. Uh, I can even move two cards to get three, right? You can, yeah. yeah I'm going to go there then. Okay. So when you place there, you're placed next to the light monster, which actually means that uh, you get a point. I don't know. Do we get oh. points? No. Uh -huh. Thing, okay. You went there too, and you went into the dungeon. So I get her point. So what happens is, so what happens is, when you went, you went to the dungeon first. Yeah. So it would have walked over, and then you would have gotten. No, no, I went. No, there. no, she oh. went there. Yeah. Okay. So I moved to her. I did so you, that. So, you, so yeah. Okay. So then. And I placed here. It so goes it over there. here, and she gets a point, right? Uh, I gave, oh, no. I gave you. Yeah, I gave you a point. Yeah. He gave both points. So uh, then, um, what happens now is you can fight it or not after you're done with your magic. Drew says, uh, oh, sorry, no. Craig says, don't trust demons. <laughs> I'm dumping these two, which will give me three Good cards. Good to live by. Uh, I'm sure, um, Drew just says, go rats. Go ahead, Ashley. Go rats. <laughs> like a um, so you, wait, wait, did you choose to fight it or not? Oh, I can choose to fight it. You can it. choose oh, to fight it. But it'll just come out to my... Uh, no, I'm not going to fight it. Okay. No, he's cool. Okay. That, that, that thing's cool. I'm, I'm Ashley's going to go get a gem. She's got a plan here. How many tiles are there? Uh, you get an estimate of the dimension? Depends on the uh, number of players. So right here we added uh, five elements, so that's 15 tiles. I've got five runes in the game, so that's 20 tiles for this game. Uh, we've got a decent amount out there right now. Oh, did you already go? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I'll go here and sure. yeah. <coughs> draw, draw a card. Trey, that's right. Okay. Demons are our friends. I'm going to go here. And I'm going to do the dungeon action this time, which okay, I know I can so actually start. Just so I don't forget, you're getting a point because you placed near the... Uh, this guy goes here, right? He in there, yeah. Now you one of these. Exploring Eldervale. I'm going to drop you over here. Okay, which will have these two sides. Realm. Got some chaos tokens yep. in there. It's a pretty juicy one for Cali, maybe, someday. And so then I'm also going to... Be able to purchase some cards, right? You can go on two adventures. Can you afford it this time? I can afford it, yes, I can. <laughs> so, um, you're going for the Dark Aura. Am I able to get this one here? This is three. One, two, and three, yes. Yeah, okay, so and then the other one was potions, right? Uh, we do was it? not or have swords. Was it swords. Or swords? Or swords? Ones? Yes. Three swords? Three. Yes. That also buys you the Poison Scimitar. Or, isn't there a Necromancer? Is that gone now? That's gone. Okay. Callie burned it. You burned it. I was actually looking <laughs> for it. So how dark, by the way, dark is an aura, which how that works is you attach it to another card, and it and it allows that card to have another effect. So that darkness card allows you to set a card up for it being use, used by an underworld 
So, so basically, if you're coming out of the underworld, this unit normally can do nothing, but it, whatever you put dark on, this unit can actually use. Go on it now. Yeah. I see. So you, do you want to buy the poison scimitar? or? Where's the poison scimitar? So this is yeah, the yeah, chaos I one. Yeah. I, need, I want to get both. Now, you bought a darkness one, so you're going yeah. up in darkness. you got to get that. There's, There's also a couple Kickstarter promise. questions for you. Sure, absolutely. Okay. Um, well, this one's not exactly Kickstarter, but it's, is it just the four anything. minis, or how many minis are planned for the game? So the starting one is going to come with eight minis. Okay. Okay, because there are eight elements, and each element has a mini. But you can definitely look for more Bless minis. You. Thank you. Bless you. Uh, <laughs> as we go, we want to. Um, yeah. We're still we're still talking about having okay. like alternate minis. So instead of just one fire mini, there'd be another fire. Oh, cool. Okay. Another, so like a totally different fire mini that you would decide um, which one you want in the game. That's that's actually really awesome. Um, someone is asking. They're not sure if you can act if you actually know yet, but they're asking what the plans. I'm purple, even though purple is kind of pointless for me now. Yeah, yeah. Right. So wait, you did buy this? And yes, this, I bought both. Right? So you actually join uh, chaos now. Yep. Yeah. Came in chaos. You, you bought darkness, and then we flip these over. There's the cloud of death for the darkness, and the temporal flux for the chaos. All right. This is a reroll. This is make everybody lose a card. <laughs> so you choose your poison there. Um, they're also asking if you have an estimate as to what you guys are going to do as far as the Kickstarter, as far as pricing, if you guys are going to have like a lower tier and a higher yeah, tier. Or... I had a, we've had a lot of people on Discord ask for a retailer tier so that it's yep. kind of like possibly standees instead of minis because we know that the minis can get up there in price. And So I didn't think anyone would want that, but once I heard that, we were looking and doing sort of Two right. versions. So I'm using the base chaos level card. And, a, and a blinged out. Version. Yeah. Four, three? Um, Four. And Kickstarter exclusives, Three. do you have any planned? Uh, oh, is yes. it supposed, am, I supposed to roll, am I supposed to just roll one? What? It's the same one, though. So Sorry, you roll one, one die, oh, okay. and then whatever your result is, is on that chart. Yeah. Okay. So, so you get three. three you know, right? uh, yeah, I'm good. Yes. And that Comments. always give you three gems when you pull back? Pretty good. Yeah. All right, next. Uh, there's a comment. Now I can get... He'll see it. I can okay. come back. And summon yeah. my dragon. <laughs> oh no, can't fog! Can't fog! It won't let me! <laughs> there is no more. He air. ran out of fog. Really. Eventually, has to heat up right. again. And so. then uh, this guy will come back and get. Alright. Uh, yes. There! Now fog of war! <laughs> fog of war! <laughs> Alright. Okay. Alright, what do I want to do now? My turn? Yes. I want to pull back. Two workers out already, right? Okay. That's good. That yeah, my dragon so, comes yeah. back too. So, so he's gonna go here. Yes, I can. Could do is he can yes, go here. This guy's gonna, gonna stay wanna, here. And this guy's gonna go. If you want to dwell somewhere. Here. That way I can. I have enough for three. Darkness one, two, two, and oh, three. Actually, only need, you only need one Which will let me dwell. Two. I just don't have enough tools for that. And well, that's like a thing. Actually, get three tools. So. So you that's get one, fast. two, and then one here. Right now. Then I also get one of the purples. If you want to buy that card, I get a scroll. If you buy that card, you're going to hurt scroll. Kelly and mine are pretty bad. Scroll. <laughs> but you have to get an orb as well, which you'll actually get when you buy the card. So it's going really for a cool. tool. So I shouldn't even bother with fighting that thing. I thought, you know, you could. You could draw it out. Basically, what you want to do is pull it off your dark realm. So and then after that, so one of them is going to do is land there purposely, not worry about it dying. Things. Just get it off of there. You know? okay. Come on, come on. So she's taking a regroup turn. We're all doing that. <laughs> what, what do you think the uh, so, what do you think the base price for Kickstarter is going to be? We're still figuring that out. Okay. Yeah, yeah I don't want to give everyone the wrong advice or anything like that. Okay. But we'll we'll have a uh, we'll more info when I. When we, you know, get the, all the final pricing. Between a dollar and three hundred, <laughs> somewhere in there. Somewhere, it's like a Price is Right. We'll have a Price is Right where it's like you the can lowest use. without going over. Um, Five. Uh, so you, so you pulled back and you did you spend a sword though? Yeah, yeah I, I did. Okay, so you spend a sword. You got all this stuff. Then you. Oh, pulled, I didn't get my gold. Yeah, and then you got your gold, and then and then. Uh, these <laughs> I got. How'd you nuke my necromancer? I just got two because I already had two. I got yeah. one card. Okay, cool. So then you pull these back, and, and then one. now you yeah. have enough. To Eric Shearer said that's back. why you buy three All fog right. machines like normal people. I go here and grab this. One. No, I put that there. <laughs> that's a, I'm gonna mess with Callie now. That's the goal. 
But it's purple and it's pretty. All right, so she, she went up there and uh, you went into that nice chaos realm. Now, yeah. see, here's the thing about Elder Girl when you guys get used to it. Mm -hmm. You can see what she's about to do right there. you got to mess with her. You can't <laughs> let that happen. Right. So can't the warrior comes there. in like, no. All I'll right, so it's going to be a fight. Now, uh, Michael is actually rolling one additional one because he has a house nearby. Dwelling is nearby, so you're rolling three. Double trouble. And right. you can spend swords, but Callie good night, decided good night. to spend swords first. Uh, I don't have any swords. You, took, have you one, do have one uh, sword. Nah, I'm okay. Okay, I'm okay so too. one rat. Now, yes. we haven't really been, I don't know if we've been playing your power right with rats joining, although maybe you haven't had Oh, uh, Maybe you I haven't have, had a lot of joining at the moment. Yeah, I've only done one battle. Okay, rip, so, so we'll have I to pay attention. I do get a sword, right? When you join. Oh. So it's only when like other rats okay. come in. So. You ready? Yeah. Six, uh -oh, six and one and you had one. A six, yeah. one, one okay. for the cleric. So the John beats a four. So and you got any separate like, Scott, the Schaefer, Robert, Robert Glenn, and Adam Ross. Thank, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Michael gets a uh, glory victory, which is you go here, and this is any power of your choice. Let's go with uh, black. Oh man, oh. he's trying to. That's the only one I have. That's the only one I can get. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then. It's all right. It's all right. And then, um, so I, I, I got in there, I got my resource, and then I fought her. The best part is that monster that's down there. And I got my resource. Okay, that's it. So it's not going to hurt you, so you can get near there. So your turn. You can't it's enter turn that now. space. You can't enter I'm it it's occupied. Uh, but you can get close to it and get a point, right. and you'll be able to walk right in. <laughs> Colt asked, uh, what kind of games Callie beats Michael at? All of and them. And Grant said all of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All of them. <laughs> like, <laughs> he beats me in an engine builder, deck builders. And stuff. Yeah, take it. So you can go to the light realm and get two scrolls. She beats him at anything that's colorful. <laughs> and get a tool. You already have tools. You gotta kind of look like what you want to buy next. There is stuff that costs gems. There's stuff that costs scrolls if you want to go. Mm -hmm. uh, but I th you'll probably be buying a gem one because you have two gems already. Maybe I can get other gems too. Yeah, could. Yeah, but you're nowhere near right there at the moment. Oh, yeah, but actually, yeah, if you if you go, Michael, did anyone workers, mention who designed the trays? These are games. Yeah, we mentioned game a, trays? Bunch, a bunch you of times. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, he said he just got on. Get you yes. on this track. Why he was you asking? Beat him to his own. We'll show you guys the game First trays. What's we'll it look like? One. Then you'll beat him on. That's that. gonna look like the game so trays. I would put a worker on that light one. For those of you just joining, if you guys want to check out something out. cool, Here's, oh, that's yeah. why I was helping you. Oh my goodness! That so is you go there and get the scrolls. That is the game now, plan. When you step there, you get a point because you step near the light monster, and the light monster comes in. Okay, so she moved you, here, yes. and then he's gonna, she's going to move in there, right? right? So the Eric, serpent thank you, moves man. in, and you would decide if you want to fight it, and I would say no. no. All right. And I'm going to spend. You don't do that yet because you have to walk into the dungeon now. Oh, I can't do that right now. No, you got to step into the dungeon to do that. So. Is that next one? Yeah, next one. So you just got nearby. It's fine. It's not going to work. All right. Oh, here don't I get one for purple? Uh, you did. I did. Oh, okay. That little guy there. Okay. Little cuteness. All right. Go ahead, Michael. All right. What'd you What'd you do? Oh, I went right here. Right there. Okay. A no, I can't build a fire. dwelling. Uh, if I if I <laughs> use something like a dragon, I can't place a dwelling with my dragon, huh? Mm -hmm. Dragons do not know how to build houses. Yeah. <laughs> the workers do. So they fly though. They move yeah. around really well. They roll a lot of dice. Mm -hmm. There's going to be so many epic dragons drawn to this game. Mm. That cover has like a whole bunch of them flying in. All right, what are the costs for everything over here? All right, we got a two gem. We got a two gem. We got a three gem. And we got a three scroll and a four tool. Three gems. So well, a, lot, a, lot, a lot of gems. Are you step in the dungeon already? A lot of gems. You no. can't step in the dungeon. No, I had three potions. I was just curious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so you got. There's nothing that costs potions at the moment. So I can go over here, though, right? Uh, nope, it's too far. You can fly one, two. two. Oh, it's three. Sorry. Yeah. Mm. You don't have to destroy your own. <laughs> no. It's like <sighs> going here and here don't really help me with this dragon. It's well, if you go here, you're going to get a potion, and then the demon will uh, hurt Callie as well. That's true. <laughs> does, does, does this guy, can this guy die though from the demon? Uh, yeah, yeah, but it'll pop right back to your screen. Yeah, but you want to be over there. I want to get into this dark, dark darkness area. Is the idea? Mm -hmm. Totally right. Yeah. Well, I need the thing, right? So we're on to you. Then you're 
for trying your, your villainous ways. Right. I guess the dragon is the better choice than for this, huh? Okay, so you're going to go in there, you're going to get a potion, right? Yep. Next thing that happens is the demon comes in. Now the owner of a dwelling loses a point or a resource, oh, your choice. Uh, yeah, I'll lose a resource here. Okay. okay. It's just one of those whatever valuable points. All right, so then you're going to have a fight. Now it goes clockwise around. Callie can actually join the fight with this rat if you want. Yeah, you can benefit from your dwelling being there. Oh, how many damage would I wait, get? So you'd get two, two. If you go walk in, you're going to get one from the dwelling and one for your rat. Yeah. And you'll get a sword for joining with your rat. Yeah, really? yeah. Yeah, so you get a sword because you joined a battle. That's what the rats do. And then you get two dice now against okay. Michael's three dice and the demon's oh, oh, who's five gonna win? dice. Who's going to win? We've a three-way fight right here. Who's going to win? We're going to demon, swords. Michael, or Kelly? We can spend swords right now. So it goes clockwise again. You're the first person to spend swords. Uh, so you're rolling two dice. You can actually I just spend, that oh, yeah, yeah, I'll so. spend one to do three. Three dice? Okay, I am spending one to do four. Okay, okay no so we got four dice, that. three dice, and five dice for the demon. Oh, who's currently Rats, clerics, and demons. Three and oh. Rats, clerics, and demons. Not Come yet, on, demon. One minute. Demon of might. Come on. <laughs> All right. Got a Rats, giant clerics, whip. demons. Go for yellow. Uh, you have five dice? Five dice. Five, three, and four. I'm going to make sure I got nothing special up my... you some something because if you cast a well, you can't cast a fireball right now because the demon of might is immune to fireballs, so no fireballs. Okay, they have resistance. Yeah, they're I mean, you know, figures, right? Mm -hmm. Fire. Mm. But there's other spells in there that would do stuff. What's the cost of this card other than the scroll? Uh, it is a you have to be one in the light, which you are. Okay, it's my turn right now, right? Yeah. Yeah, but I'm doing a combat right now, so I have to wait yeah. till we finish. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Ready? Uh, three. Two, one, Come here on, we demon. go! Let's do it! Five, five? Five, four, four, four. Five, three, okay. two, but five. Five, 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 five. I can five, play, five. I have a time warp. Okay. Play after you roll dice for any reason, you may re-roll up to three of the dice. Okay, okay. that costs you, you have to be in chaos, which yep. you are, so boom. Chaos! All right. You thought it was this way, but... It's, it's, no. it's worse. <laughs> it's worse. <laughs> you thought it was this way. <laughs> All right, so the demon is now 4, four o. It crushes us. Give you us a sword each. And I get a victory point. Yeah, and you do get a victory point because you died with a dragon again. Thank you, thank you guys. Now Welcome, Jesse Fernandez, here. David, Ann, and John Harvey. Guys, so please go ahead and share, like, like, comment, all that good stuff. Right Yay. So you can put no, no. You leave that Everyone you likes voting for the rats. The They're all voting for Callie. <laughs> Boom! All right, so Ash is going to do a tile first. You get to put this anywhere in Elder Vale. It is the croc, the dread Ooh, crocodile. No, is no. coming out. So put it next to Michael. Uh, he's, he's not, not on the board, board. right? Yeah, I'm not, I'm, oh, he is on I'm board. Not, he has I'm, huts. He's right over there. This guy right here. He's chilling. Well, he has his little hut, people. The dread crocodile is erratic, so what happens is if you place near it, it will try to go the other direction, and if it can't, it'll come at you. So you can actually use oh, it to push it turn. into other people. I guess I'll wait. I have no idea. Um, I mean, if you don't know and you don't particularly care, right next to Michael's not bad, because you'll probably kill him that way. This one, maybe? Yeah, keep that in mind, though. But oh. it'll be near the one that you want, so then the other side of Michael is the better move. Okay. So you get the croc right here, and we're going to put a little water tiles in there. The water yeah, I, need, I need all these things here around my area. <laughs> you, you need more monsters? Ooh. He wants to build more dwellings. It's a dwelling. juicy one. The croc is guarding a potion and a scroll. All right, so you're going to the dungeon, which means you get to buy cards. I'm going to buy the, the cloud, cloud of death. Yeah. That's a good purchase. The cloud of death, which she's been looking at, is uh, four tools to buy that. And that's going to bump you up one in darkness, which actually gives you the orb. <laughs> Snaked it. Nicely done, Ash. All right, then you get to buy a second card if you want. You could even use the orb to pay for it, but the, the Cloud of Death also requires an orb, so if you want to use the orb on the Cloud of Death, that would be, that'd be worth saving the orb. Mm -hmm. Oh, you get the fire That's me, one, huh? and I think you should totally do it. Because <laughs> they've been nothing but uh, you know, combative to you. Um, you can get the fire. So you could buy another card, which is you've got gems here. You could buy the, the, the door to fire, the brass door, or you could buy the light door, the luminous threshold. Oh, you go, one win. Pick one. Mm -hmm. Whatever you want. Actually, I'm going to save one. you save it? So if you're not going to buy a second card, I really do think you should buy one, but if you want to save it, you have to burn a card as your second second pull. Really? So you have to choose one of these cards to go away. 
if you don't want to buy a second. Oh, one of these. Yeah, no, no, yeah, one of these other adventures. Okay. So there's always two cards that move off of the dungeon. So the cards don't get stuck up there and so, uh, changes it up. You can also so stop buy them. one or burn one that is most awesome. useful Thanks to somebody to else. It's buy one or two, okay. and if you buy one, you have to burn burn one. Okay, I'll buy that one. You, you will buy the brass door. Okay, okay. great. So that's two gems. That this is, is what put the you power scoreboard in, looks like. In, uh, actually, it's gonna, you're already on the fire tracks. So, gonna get so you right now, if you're looking at the board, you're going to see that there's black, which is taken up by Ashley. I'm just underneath her. Callie's going to have the purple there, and she's fully so up. Got, and then the rest of them is blue is... I'm at one in blue, I'm at one in light, and then I'm at one in purple. Callie, uh, actually, is also three in red. Yeah. So, it's, it's so the new it's darkness spell is Buried Alive, which allows you to come list. back out of the underworld and use a card. And also the Phoenix Fire, which allows you to convert something into magic cards. Uh, and then that was your turn. You could put the orb on the cloud of death now, or you could wait. Oh, she gets the angel too. Oh, right? and the angel does come yeah. in to get a point for that. And you could fight it. So those are your options. Kick its butt. Don't forget, Cal, you have that passive card that whenever you step in darkness, you mm -hmm. get something. So don't forget that. However, yeah, the cloud of death, this is because I'm the fog machine, the cloud of death has just happened. Oh no! <laughs> and what happens is each one of the opponents must choose one of their tableau cards and discard it. Uh, so you oh, lose. No well, there it goes. Her passive card is yeah. out. And Michael, what are you going to lose? Well, uh, you to we... lose one of those cards because she, she activated the cloud of death. <laughs> All right. You guys lost your dark cards. All right. Mm -hmm. All done? Are you finding the, the... Do you no, want to no, find no. it? No. Okay, she's okay. going to let that thing live. Okay. I'll go here. Get a gem. Gem, thank you. Okay. That's it. Okay. Michael is on the board. He's walking right into the croc. Yeah! Like, Just do it. You get the token. You never... You always get the thing in this game. So you get the token, and now you're going to fight the croc. You're going to bring in the warrior. So you're rolling two for the warrior, one for the dwelling, one for the other cleric. So you've got four... I guess the Crocs five dice. It's a big one. You know this guy. He's a, he's a massive. Let's see. He's the size of a mountain. So, you know, he's coming out of the water in a big wave. So, crocodile with a tsunami? Yeah, something before, like that. Now, before I do that, I'm actually going to go ahead and just discard this card. Uh, play this card to give me the one of the so gems. you're going to go up in glory? Uh, it says, says play on your turn, advance one space on the glory track. Yeah. Which actually, Ding is going to give you an orb. Oh, wow. I, want that, I want that real quick just in case. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so against the Dread Crocodile. I can't even give myself more die at this point, but I think I'm going to be okay. I think this is all I need. Uh, what do you guys think? You guys think I'm only need this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Three, two, one. Five, five, four, four. Five, five, five. Oh. Croc. Two. No. Almost, <laughs> but no. The monsters are oh, doing cool. all right right now. Yeah. So you get a sword. because you're One sword off. or two? One. Okay. Just for the battle, basically. Just for the battle. How does the worker Jeez. lose? Really? So the worker... No, you get two, because your worker also gets one. Yeah. Yeah, How sorry. I didn't see the your opponent. Right. So his worker, that's his power. Them. Yeah. Which is kind of good and kind of not good for me, actually. Well, There's yeah, a lot of cards like, that yeah. kind of mess me up. I want to pull back... There's a card I have that lets me pull back units from the undead area, but... I don't have any in there, so right. I'm not able so to pull they, back to gain Exactly. Those. There's a couple of things the clerics have to play a different kind of game. Yeah, I'm learning that. Okay, so then that was his move. It's back to you. <laughs> you can teleport anywhere with the wizard. You can fly up to two spaces away with the dragon. Interestingly enough, if you go somewhere with the wizard and die, then the dragon can go somewhere and pull the wizard back because that's its power. <laughs> so you could get the wizard to just take a hit. Team and the wizard will come right back when the dragon goes out there. The Michael, your chair is cursed. Awesome. You yeah, probably. I'm, I, yeah, I'm not, I don't know. You guys, if you voted for me, I'm, I'm nervous for you. Three dice. When your dragon's out there, it's three dice. Yeah, that's what it fights okay. You can't fly that far. You're going to fly two away. But I tell you, you could attack it because it'll come into your space. If you really want to. Well, you can't teleport into Occupy. Something less this less crazy. Yeah, he that counts as occupying that space. Uh, so you can teleport anywhere around it, and it will well, walk you at here, you. Here, you can get trade into. So for she's doing wild. that to have this That's thing true. come in. Now the problem with that, by the way, just, just a minor little problem is it's going to attack dwelling. your dwelling. But so you have to lose a resource or a point right now. So 
though. She's losing a resource, and now you're going to fight that thing. It's rolling five dice. It's on a roll right now. But you, uh, you got no sword, so you're rolling one die. But you have a dwelling, so actually that gives you another die. So you've got two dice against the five of the fire demons. You need gems. Uh, I got a six, six, three. Okay, I'm gonna use my. Oh wait! Oh my God! Lightning. This is a spell happening. Ooh, He's immune me. to fire, but he is not immune to lightning, lightning bolts. So I'm gonna play after battle dice have been rolled. This card counts as if you had rolled an additional die at the value of six, so it'd be six five. Six five beats six three. Bridget yeah. says, "Go, Ashley!" Taking Yay. down the fire demon. Oh. And, and your mother is that. Thing, huh? When it's, you do that, you get to choose cool. either a battle victory, so you get glory, or you could soak up fire and go up the fire trap. Well, Bridget's Bridget voted for Ashley, so mm -hmm. um, nice job, <laughs> right? It's her aunt, her mom. Firepower. <laughs> <or> <laughs> she <laughs> like, glory. she has to vote for. Her. What was that? I'll go up there. So she's soaking up the energy of the fire demon. It's like coursing through her wizard <laughs> with her hands. It's like, oh, this fire! And so now you. Uh, you successfully stayed over there. It's pretty good. All right, sweet. That was pretty awesome. Yeah, that was awesome. She's gonna get. Ashley's gonna, gonna get both uh, areas there. I'm good. That was yeah. really awesome, though. Okay. Yep. Do I get that? But I'm gonna use my ability to. Oh use... no, you don't get that. So, I don't get so that if you're then. gonna use your okay. tunneling, you take. You don't take that. You can take okay. that. Action. Okay. But I want to do the summoning. <clears throat> And but, I but here's an interesting question, though. Summon my warrior. Like, can I just ask you something, though? Like, if you wanted to yeah. tunnel, you could actually just walk over there, right? Yeah, but I want to keep my guy there. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, like, not, basically, you could have gone just right there. Oh, the the, I was thinking because the demon was there last turn. Oh, I see. So yeah, you might want to yeah. use a different unit then, because you don't have to tunnel. Well, huh? Can I move this one? No, it's no, locked. No, he's fine. He's fine. Yeah, oh, you used it, good. but you cost them a bunch of points. And now I've summoned oh. my warrior. And uh, oh, I'm also going <laughs> to, yes. Okay. Yes. And I'm also going to uh, use this renew. I'm going to pay two tools. Okay. And that will um, it'll choose one realm and it'll put all the tokens back up on there. Yep. Some random ones. Yep. And I'll gain one victory point for around. each token place. Okay, so there's four, four fire tokens. I don't think we've got any other ones. Those are all out? Actually, there's more. Oh, yeah, yeah. These are all done. Yeah. Those, yeah. There's supposed to be one pile in here, so I'll make it over. So I've chosen these at random. You're actually getting six points then for that nice. card. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to put these up randomly. And you've just renewed the fire realm. It's full of stuff again. And there we go. It's actually really exciting over there in the fire realm again. <laughs> And then. that was your turn yep. as the dragon, right? Okay. Peter, will you have any times available for complete gameplays at Origins and not just de a demo? And is it an event that has to be registered for? Uh, that is a really good question. I don't think we've figured out the... So in the booth, we're going to just be showing demo. But I'm going to have a sign up for who wants to play later. I just don't know if that's going to be ticketed or not. Okay. Um, I would be open for recommendations on what people would like to do with that because I could go to bar two, just put the game there and have a sign up during the booth. Right. And it's basically like whoever no. gets it and wants to come to bar two at night. One, two, three, or I could go with the origin system and do events. I just don't know how how people feel about the origins event system. Okay. Yeah. So Scott uh, Scott Schaefer was asking about it. Let me know what you want, and we'll make it that way. Right. Okay. <laughs> Take a vote. Guys. Yeah. It's yeah. a poll. Let me know what you want. <laughs> the other thing is that in the booth. I also have a seat that I can rotate people into because what I'm going to do is I'm going to have uh, the demo team play over and over to show people. Yeah. So if you want in on that seat, I can also do that. Okay, cool. I do, I don't, I'd rather do that with someone who knows how to play. So if you've watched a little bit or you've paid attention and you're ready for that seat, you can definitely tell I'm me talking about talking to her it. or her? Both. Oh, I'm talking over there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm answering the All question right. and also... Okay. Uh, I'm going to pull back to... Because I want yeah. to cool. dwell. Did you use any of these things? Your tools? I use this one. Two mm -hmm. gems. You use this one. Use that gold one. House nice. there. So that's going to give you two, four, six points there, right? For two other dwellings and then also the ruins. Yeah, six so points. So six points there. Yay. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it is a fire realm. So you actually join fire now and you're on the base level of yep. firepower. Okay. All right. What do I okay, want? Okay, so there's. Two tiles left in the dungeon, and Callie is at three of the six dwellings. Those are the two triggers. So all the dwellings or all the rails explored. Okay. Okay. 
because I'm so excited you guys are trying this out <laughs> on a stream. It's super cool. I have been playing this game with you know, Luke and all these other testers for a long time, but we haven't really just been out there sharing it. It's, it's uh, really exciting. Thank you guys for, for watching and checking it out. Yeah, I like how the, the world, it just looks so magical and like it's different every time. That's what we're trying really for. Fun. Yeah, it's really so, fun. So, yeah. Uh, and the art is, has just gone way up <laughs> since cool. we thought. Well, you know. It, <laughs> the play uh, testing mode. <laughs> Trial. There's also been a lot of really good playtest feedback yeah. about like let's refine this one, let's get this one better. So it's just getting better okay. and better. Okay, okay. So you get a point. Yeah. Okay, so you get a point yep. for going near the serpent. You got a thing. Yep, that's it. And you're coming out for the first time and anywhere you'd like except for mm -hmm. occupied. Ooh. What time is it? Almost time for another giveaway. Is yeah, that, oh, about ten minutes. Ooh. Ten minutes more. Ten minutes. What do you want to give away? Um, we've got more. We got Expansity, Rise of Tribes, Boomtown oh Bandits. Wow. wow, big prizes. We got to see people call out what they want in the next thing here. All nice. right, what are you gonna do? Get that thing. Get the thing. All right. All right. I'm. Right. Um, oh, I have my. Sorry, I didn't get my um, little dudes back there. Oh, sorry, your rats. No problem. There. My little rats. Come here, little rats. All right. Where am I going? Ooh, the crop is scary. <laughs> so I know that um, I know that Luke Laurie is um, celebrating with his wife Yvonne for her birthday tonight, so he's not able to catch the stream, but he's going to be watching after. Do you have any other mechanical questions about how stuff works? Uh, he'd be happy to answer. Pick a game to give away: Boontown Bandits, yeah. Expansity, or Rise of Tribes. Pick a game to w pick a game for us to give away. In the next ten minutes, we'll give it away. The Ooh, most okay. votes is the one we'll do. Just go ahead and write down the three. Expansity, Tribes, and Boontown. So yeah. we got one, two, three here. One, one. All right, my okay. turn now? Yes. All right. Do you get any those. bonuses at the end for having <laughs> extra resources? Uh, uh, you don't unless a card says so. So okay. if you have a prophecy that, that does that, or you have mm -hmm. some kind of way of uh, a vault, actually, is it one of the cards that you can get? And that vault card Gym. will do that. Jim, okay. I'm going to go here, the dungeon. Okay. Which also moves me, gives me a point. Yes, another point for the clerics. And you explore another part of Eldervale. And we'll make room wherever you need. So there's the other water realm. Okay. The big, juicy the big water, water realm. realm. Token all, right. all right, all right. What do I want to do? It's got a scroll out there. And you get to buy two cards, which I'll get these. Uh, ooh, a gold. Who's up there? <laughs> what do you like? What do you like? I want the one for three, three scrolls over there, the white one. Uh, three scrolls. This is a water one. No, no. What's with us? Sorry, two. So two, two gems, gems and three scrolls. One. Water and. Oh, so you want to buy water and light. Yep, so it's so two you, gems and three scrolls, right? That's correct. There we go. That's what I'm spending. So you're it's buying the. Loom, yep, he's buying that one. So he's got the light card and the water card. All the arts temp, so uh, we don't have the art on there yet. But he's got a water and a light. Choose one quest card in your hand. Oh no, I dropped it. Choose one card in your hand. The quest is completed even if you don't meet the requirements. So it requires a warrior to use that. Okay, so and you put it on him then. <laughs> so you're gonna gain. Your a, mom is awesome. You're gonna gain everybody. A light everybody wins when it's a great game. Yes. And then you also gain a water <laughs> card for buying those two cards. Yep. And then we get a new water card, which is. The Endless Decanter, so basically when you place a treasure token on one of your tableau cards, gain a resource that's also depicted on that token. And a new light card, which is the Solstice Shrine. At the end of the turn, if your units occupy a line, if you've got three units in a line, you get points. Okay, and with this little guy here, I can use it to either A, uh, go on that track and buy whatever I want, yes. or B, I can put on one of these cards here. Yeah. Anything else? Uh, you could either, the cards have two ways, which is one, it actually calls for an orb, or two, you put it on an input. So you don't have any inputs, I don't yeah. see. So your best thing, if you want to use that orb, yeah. is to use on one of these. You can go for three points, two points, two magic cards, two gold. Those are some of the better ones for right now. You've got... I want the one, the two cards. So you're going to put it on the two cards. Yep. That space, that orb is gone. No one else can take that space. So I get two get cards two here. Cards. Yeah. And then I also have a full hand of cards, so I'll gain three more points for my He's quest. He's got a quest. What's that quest called? So it's, uh, it's called Victory in Defeat. Uh, oh, no, sorry. It's called uh, Complete yeah. the Book. Complete the say, Book. I was like, hmm, Complete you, the Book. Yeah, complete the Book. Ones. Sounds better. You've completed the Book of Elder Vale for three points. Okay. There's only one tile left. Which means the next person who goes to the dungeon triggers the end. Ooh. Which means uh -oh. everyone will have one more turn, including the person who took that tile. Nice. Gets, a, gets one, the final, final turn. 
So far, it looks like Tribes. Tribes is up next. What's the glory track? It's right here? This is the glory track. Okay. Yeah. All right. So someone was... Because uh, Tribes is a modular hex board, and it's actually done by the same artist. So yeah. Someone was saying that we should make a Raza Tribes module inside yeah. of Elder Veil. That could be super so cool. So you're playing like the first to 15 points or something, and there's, there's Raza Tribes rules. Expansion! Expansion! <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> sure. I'm, I'm not. I'm down. <laughs> right. Is it tribes and elder veil mixed together? It'd be pretty epic. Yeah, it was close for a second between um, expansity and tribes. Oh, okay. And the and tribes, tribes just, just went. Pew, <laughs> like. Well, you've got so many exciting things for Rise of Tribes coming. There's an expansion coming. Oh, there's cool. promo tiles coming. There's nice. a tournament series coming. There's super cool things for Rise of Tribes. In the I mean, you also so, had you oh. had Walters that said, okay. save tribes for last. Uh, and I'm like, epic, epic. Well, we'll, we'll, maybe we'll do the last one. We'll do Boomtown and, and Expansity or something. Yeah. Oh, well, you can't. You can't do that. That's gonna. Be, that's a dwelling ability. Dwell. Right. Oh, I you, thought can you, get, you can get the resources now. So you're pulling back? Uh, so I missed it. No, no. She put a, she put a thing on here and she took yeah. the card. Yes. If so you want to dwell there, you need to either use the your dwell spot or you need to use to the dwell there. the mill spot. Oh, okay. So what you can do though is spend this to get a card. There's so much loose game. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a yeah. it's a mini adventure. So you get a card. Okay. You already have a set of cards. And that's your turn. That happens to be a pretty right. awesome we'll combat go spell. Over here. Basically, it takes a big fight and puts everybody here. <laughs> So, All right. you get one glory. Five minutes. Battle happens Votes here. for one of those games. Everybody you get... has to Done? participate. Yep. So, when mm -hmm. you go there, it's going to force them to take their units off the board. If you want to use that. The other thing you got to pay, pay to, it's only one tile left. You want to be paying this to what your victory Victory is point. Are. You get a point if all your workers are summoned. So, you want to get these two out of there. You also get a point, two points for every different type of elemental realm in which you have a dwelling. You have a dwelling in two different elemental realms, which is awesome. If you want to keep getting points that way, you would pick a different color to make two. your next dwelling. Those are ways to get points. That's the other the thing is, one. if you get a and bunch of swords, and I this is three a good cards, card. I choose mm -hmm. two. Wait a minute, wait a minute. When the, oh no, was it with your wizard? I was going to say, yeah, that quest where it's a beat a monster with a worker. Yeah. But you did it with the wizard. Yeah. Yeah. The stumps, I'll take <coughs> these two cards. So he's raising the dragon. And I'm going to play oh. this, complete this quest if I have at least two potions in my supply. I have five potions. Can I actually get count these or no? No, it's in your Okay, supply. so I have five, so I get five One, points. Two, three, four, five. Uh oh, Gally. <laughs> Put down the pressure. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Uh, Okay. And uh, that's it. Are you doing the giveaway now, or are we? Yeah, oh, yeah, we have yeah, 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 yeah. one more turn. Four, four minutes, four minutes. Okay. Go ahead, right, shoot right. it up. Let me return all my dice um, here. They are asking, the, the stuff you were just talking about for Rise, like the expansions and the special stuff, is that going to be a Kickstarter thing, or is that going to be just uh, like a like a website? We're going to do, yeah, it's going to be a website thing. If you go, there's a Rise of Tribes Facebook group, and we just got a you community go manager, so, Maya okay. Coleman. These, these and so if you go right? there, yeah. we're going to announce all the Rise of Tribe stuff. In order to get a dude, you need to go either summon okay. or dwell. You can choose to do Yeah, because there, there, there was a little confusion they thought You're they were black, talking right? about. So you can go this. summon. Yeah. Oh, we were talking about see. Rise. Yeah. <laughs> dude, yeah. yeah. We, and then you can do the summon ability. We love which is Kickstarter, but we're going to focus on this for Kickstarter and Rise will be. Yep, let put that in there. To support our retailers, we want to make sure that they get all the products as well. Oh, yeah. Okay. So so you need to spend. We're actually going to bundle the deluxe the blue. Okay. and the regular edition of Rise together for savings oh. and make the mammoth edition. All right. That's some fun stuff. Six points for my new dwelling. Whoa. Rise of Tribes and Mammoth. That. So six points. And it's a water tile. So you, you dwelled in water. Now you have one of these left and you haven't gotten it into somewhere, so you're in water now. Okay. You have water power. Mm, okay. It's a good dwelling. Uh, okay, uh, There's a wizard just lying down on the job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Danny said that he got his rise mm. retail instead of uh, the Kickstarter, cool. so he didn't get any of the Kickstarter, like the bonuses for Kickstarter. Oh, actually, they're all in the box. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, looks like we, you didn't miss anything. You didn't miss anything. We All the stuff we unlocked, which was awesome by a bunch of backers, we put it all in there. So... You get the glacier, you get the tar pits, you get all that stuff. All the nice. upgraded meeples, all of it's in there. Cool. So here. And so yeah. this one knocks in here too as well. So I get No, only nope. one monster can come in, so you have to choose which one. 
Oh, I'll choose this one. And you, did you get a point oh, for? Well, actually, light? you get a point for placing near the light. Either way. So you okay. Get that point. Then I'm gonna move this guy in. I'll get my point for him, and I'm gonna fight that. You're gonna fight the croc. Wow. It's three. Three. That the gameplay for this one, Bridget, is about two hours. So I get three, yep. and then two more die. I'm just going for. You get a three, fight. four, five because you get your dwellings nearby. So I get. Okay, I actually only need one sword. Yeah, then. Exactly. So You're I rolling get all my dice. Six dice against the croc's five. Hmm. Come on, croc. Let's do it. Try croc. Six. Three, six, six. Three. Ooh. Wait, let me see if I got something up. Oh, <laughs> I got out like I'm hungry. Oh, it's okay. I can't do this one. Crocodile takes. I get a, I get a victory point. Just... He dies, so I get a victory point. <laughs> you do get a victory point for that, and a sword, because you're pissed off. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Crocodile's like, this is fun. Let's get this splash <laughs> in the water some more. All right, that's it. Okay, we have time. That's our time. That's eight fifty nine. That'll count. Let's do a giveaway. Giveaway. Oh I think Rise of Tribes won that vote. Yes, by a lot. Very fun game. Super popular. Rise of Tribes. It's a, uh, it's a, it's a Civ game. You're like prehistoric tribe. Uh, we've boiled all of that stuff from the Civ game into only an hour, so it's kind of like an easy entry into like a bigger game, and it's got all the advanced rules that you could want to play it. Uh, once you know how to play, you can make it even more uh, with more complicated with very what? player powers. Give each one of your tribes an ability. So rise of tribes. Uh, it's excellent. Yeah. Oh, we got the basket. basket. The basket. <laughs> Michael. Michael has the basket. It also All has right. meeples, just yeah. like this game. It has all oh. these meeples in it. Can I pull it, Ashley? Meeples, meeples. Rise of tribes. Meeples, meeples. Who wants to win Rise of Tribes? We should get Brad Brooks on the show. Right? Right? I. Like some Rise I, of Tribes? I know. I. 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 I, I, uh, I. Nolan is an N A. A, a it's an A. It's an A. Okay. Um, All right. Well done, man. Congratulations. congratulations. Hope you enjoy this one. Here we go. We're also gonna do a shirt. A dwellings of all the mail shirt. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yay, Yay for Yay. shirts. Yay. Right. This group of people love shirts. <laughs> it's yeah. shirts. Come on. Jesse Fernandez. Congratulations. Okay. I think this is the second time I've drawn Jesse. <laughs> Jeez, and that's lucky. why he always votes for me. There you go. Look at this. <laughs> Enjoy that Dwellings of Elder shirt and thank you very much for watching. Shirt. I, I just that finished was his mine. Epic turn I cannot over. believe I lost again. I, I can't win battles anymore. I know. It's like, I haven't won a single one since the first one. You're going somewhere. Your wizard and stuff is over there. <laughs> Jesse's a sweet. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna do All a right. little. So you placed over in the chaos. A little flying with my dragon cool. from over here. Nice. Yep. Yeah. Grab of course, she's spotting those double tokens. That's it, right? Right. Yep. I'm gonna return yeah. back. So he's gonna go over here. We're gonna complete a quest card. As if you did it. As if I did it. That's pretty cool. Well, this points. one, three points. That's I, a if prophecy. I was, if I was, it's not a quest. Are oh. you out of quest cards? Because you've done a couple of them. These are all prophecies then. Oh, oh I see. Dang it, that messed me up. I thought that these, okay. Dang it, I totally forgot about that. Because they were all, the they feel kind of. Cards? Yeah, once yeah, end the game, once end the game, once instantly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah we're going to get that really okay. clear for you. Okay, In that case. Still pulling back? Yeah. <laughs> the warrior's gonna pull back. Jesse says, "Breathe, Michael. You'll get a win next time or next week." <laughs> Drop another one of these guys here. Oh, yes. you're dwelling. Yes. Look at that. Okay, so oh that one it costs you a gem, right? Yep. You also gain a power and light. Yep. So you're on track three. No, you I'm also get points. points. You get four points. Oh, is this a ruin? Wait, That's a ruin. Oh, it is. By placing my oh my last oh, okay. Oh, this one, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, sorry. Okay. Thanks for keeping him honest. He gets four points for that. One, two, this one three, I haven't done four. anything yet. Callie, he's catching up. I know. So Stop letting him catch up. You I did? And sword, yeah. Or tool. Which one? You went to the middle you one. You had it right there. Did I? Well, you didn't no, take him. So That's okay. Didn't take just, him. Just, I just played the take that cards. I meant to put this on the dwell because I couldn't place it here. I just didn't do anything. Um. I guess we'll just Hey, can I ask a vote for people? Sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we're working on these trays. Just a vote, just to, just a uh, we're just, we're just, Yeah, we're just, uh, we're still playing around with what color all right. the trays should be. You know, with all this color going on, the brown represents the done, ruined color, and the gray is more of a neutral, so that we don't overlook yeah. the colors. 
We're playing around still, so, so if everyone has a vote. Right? Was that? Can I move this guy or no? No, you're placing another unit. Either Is this a blue? Okay, so we'll do it like this. Yeah. We're gonna do, and these are the colors you're choosing from. Yeah, Is either the brown or the gray. Yeah, we might have a the black could but be another contender only one. because. Um, <laughs> You know, all the player so trays in black, black might eight, be cool. So, so brown, so brown gray, black, black, or gray. Yeah. Okay, make a house. All right. Are you pulling back? What are you doing? No, I no, put this here. So oh, you flew over there. Yeah, right? so you can make a house right there. Yep. You spend a gem, yep. and then you put that down, and then you dwell in fire. That's going to be four fire. points. So you're going to get one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And you actually go up in fire and get an orb. Yep. So that's awesome. Uh, yeah. Is she there? Yeah, but my Oh, because you went to the dwell spot and she did as well. Uh, okay, so wait, you want to add swords, anybody? No. Nah. And you're rolling for your dwelling is also adding one? Both of you have a dwelling that's oh, adding okay. one. So it's what? Four and three. Four and two. three. Four and two. Four and two. <laughs> Here we go. Six, six. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's gonna I'm take sorry. that one down. Yeah, 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 it's all right. Now this goes to the. Yeah. So when you go. Oh, this one. Sorry, this came whoops. back because it died, right? So it goes back to here, right? No, no, because dra your dragon does not have that power. It never comes back to. Oh, just when you you when pull back, when you pull back. Yes. Yeah, okay. So then you went here and you got a sword because you're pissed off. Uh, so there you go. <laughs> all right. And she's and then filling that role right now. I won the battle. I'm gonna lose this. Okay, I'm at 16. It's all That's good. It. You have some good cards right here. It's good. You have right. some good I won the battle. I'll go up in fire. Uh, what was it? Go up in I won the battle, so I'll go up in fire. Uh, right, you can't see? go up in fire. You no. can go up on glory when you beat an opponent. Well, two, oh. points. Two, two points. No, no, I'm perfect. So, so per okay. Oh, yeah. that one actually does give you anything. Yeah. So, yes, you want to go up in fire? Yeah. Okay, I got you. Sorry. Okay. okay. My turn? Uh -huh. All right. Um, I just want to move. Ashley's token yeah. so far. By the way, whenever I play a game, I don't try and win the first time I play the game at all. Because, you know, there's, <laughs> there's moving so, parts. Yeah. There's a lot of moving parts. There's in this a game. lot of stuff I going on. I would never attempt to go into Elder Vale and know exactly what the hell I was going to run into. <laughs> Why not? Once you learn the game and you find out what's up, when you see okay. the scoring, you're going to go, all oh, right, I know. I totally know what I would do next time. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to go here. You're going to end it. Okay, he is going to take the last tile. This is going to uh, trigger uh, the end game sequence for dwellings. He's putting that light realm somewhere. Over there. Proc is still around, so we'll keep that around. Um, Resource. Just the light one, that's the last one. And this baby here, which will net me this red one. You're going to buy a red one for, what's the resources? There's uh, two, two tools. tools. Which I spent a tool and a... Uh, one of these things. Okay, all right, so you're going up one in. Now, interestingly, you buy the red one, you can't enter any more tracks unless you come out of a track. That's okay. So you're fine with that? Yeah, I don't care. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, you I just know want it. Doing. You just want it? It's, okay. it's zero points to you. All right, all right, he wants it for reasons. Okay, <laughs> I forget. Michael knows how to play games. For reasons. Right. So, um, and I can buy another card if I want to as well, right? You can, and I love buying two cards when I go to the dungeon. They're all gem requirements, huh? I have one, two gems, so the two so you can do scrolls as well. Is that black? What's this one say? It is. When you place a treasure token on one of your tableau cards, you need one resource. Get a treasure, yeah. Mm, yeah. I think I think this is a good one. And we'll go with this one. So that one that's okay, so this gonna be one final prize at the end of the game. After we score, mm -hmm. we'll do the final prize. Yeah. Fancy. Yep. Last one. So and then uh oh. It's fancy and boom town? Yeah. So do we have any tray color preferences? Okay. So far gray. Gray is winning. Gray, then brown, then black. Then black. Yeah. And there's a green in there too. Oh well, I'm moving second. Right, I, 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 I get a point too. I get a point. Okay, you get a point. I moved right. here. Right. No more yeah. points for Michael. So you bought two cards, and we gotta populate uh, that. So there's these I two. Red and black. So yeah. well, the pyromancy is available. My black goes to the top. Underwater though, right? is available. My black goes to the top now because I'm in black. You you bought yeah. the black one. Yeah. No, you bought the blue what? one. Blue. Where you was bought, the, What's the new one I bought? You bought uh, red and blue. No. Yeah. yeah. This one here. Oh, it's blue. Oh, blue. Okay, yeah. too the blue. temp art is a little dark. So okay, we're gonna, yeah. it's you can, gonna I can very, see the top, right? It's going to be very blue. What's the black one? It was so, three tools. Okay, yeah. I don't have enough of that. Okay. So you're buying, so you go up one in blue. That's fine. And I, and I didn't give you one in red because you can't. 
All right. So when someone's triggered the end, everyone's going to get one more turn, including Michael, because he mm -hmm. ended it. So you have your final turn right now. Mm -hmm. I know one of your prophecies would probably benefit you to pull back and summon, but you might have another turn that you want to do. Okay? Whatever you guys want to do. You got two units. Um, the other one that you had was different types of realms that you've dwelled in. And this one, this quest you can do on this turn. So you also have an orb. So the way that I would probably play this turn is if I could go to the dungeon, I would. But mm -hmm. you can't. Because A, it's occupied. B, you're out of units. Right. Okay? So your best move here is to pull back and come home. And one of the things that you should do is go to the summon spot because you have a prophecy that's related to that. The other thing you could do is mm. actually go and cast this first. Oh, remember you told me about vote? You can actually cast this <laughs> first. Yeah. Which would cause some havoc. Let's show some of these minis again while they're waiting. Yeah. While right. looking. So she's going to cast a spell that we've uh, finally named. What you got over there? Show them the minis. Oh, nice. Yeah. Show them the mini. Well, so um, that's that's the a minis. croc right there. <laughs> that's this, that, <laughs> this little guy right here. All right, so <laughs> Ashley's in her final turn. Go, Ashley. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to cast this spell that we fondly have oh. named uh, Blood Rage. So you cast Blood Rage, and it says, Gain one Blood glory. Here? So the first thing that happens Hello? is you gain a glory for casting Blood Rage, which gives you two points. Second thing is it says, an epic battle is triggered in the underworld. Okay. Units from Eldervale or from ready areas may join, but everybody has to participate with at least one unit. So Ashley is already there with the dragon. Who would like? Who else would like to give it? I get a point for going Death underworld. Now keep in mind if the Death Reaper goes in, it would mean it's the end of the game. Yeah. Right? You, you it's lose not going to get any points. Okay, so you're gonna I'm going to get a point Reaper. for having my dude go to the Underworld. <laughs> That's true, you do, actually. <laughs> All right, and then um, everybody would roll. Now, you could also bring more units. You don't have to just bring one. You could say, oh. I don't have any more down there. <laughs> now, from here or there, at, from anywhere, you could go into this fight. What's saying. the point of doing it? If well, you'd you get a glory if you win. Mm. And what's the glory worth? A treasure? For you, it's worth a treasure. For Callie, it's worth two points. And for Ashley, it's worth any resource that she wants. For Callie, it's worth points? It's worth points. And we have only one turn left, right? It's, yeah, right. She's, she's gonna, done. She's going to be done, and then you guys are going to have one left. Okay, I'm going to jump in here and stop Callie. Okay, so Callie, they're calling there. you silent but deadly. Uh, now, every my... unit that yeah, joins yeah. into the Underworld also gets a sword, by the way. Oh. <laughs> Don't forget the normal rules still apply. You, even you, the Reaper one? Yes, you okay. even get a sword when you, you come in with Reaper. Yeah. So you could you could uh, come in with these three, but these three can also use your stuff. Do you need to use your stuff? I technically think that you only you need one guy to do that for sure, and then you don't have any cards that benefit you from resources. So I think you could bring two of your units in there if you felt like you were trying to win this one. I don't need to keep that you, there. You need to keep at least one of the three, but you don't need all three. For a while. That's why I dump mine in. I'm looking at your cards. Oh, wait, like, you but don't the Reaper need... joined, so we can't join, right? No, that's a, oh, I think that's, is that's it the same very, thing or no? That's a very interesting edge case. Uh, I think Blood Rage would trump the okay, normal okay. rules because it's like all this whole epic battle thing happening. We're we'll all the, I would it. imagine. We're all well, it's what? also there'll the battle. Be a, there'll be a back of the book that goes over I'm imagining the battle in the Underworld is separate from the battle here. Yeah. So we're going to do this. Okay, so you get a couple of swords. Okay, so now an epic. End of the game fight happens with everybody rolling all the dice they can. Wait. You're rolling five dice. We're doing votes. You're rolling five dice. Callie's rolling. She taps out. Well, it's, it's, it's just us three against each five, other. Five, so six. I, I have this six. Like the most I've got six die here. Now I can't use any of these things. Nope, you, you can't but six. I've got six here to utilize. You can spend a sword. So we're in a vote. Well. Vote, vote, vote. Oh, give me a, yeah. Let's give me a countdown timer. See, so you know how to play this game. Countdown. And if you lose, you're going to get another one. So actually, you should, yeah, it's funny. I'm doing it. All right. If, let's go with 15 seconds <laughs> on the board. So oh, we're oh, voting? Forgot, we this takes forever. We'll just give them a couple seconds. Go ahead and pick your votes. Pick your Is votes, going to be for pick your votes. Ashley, whose dice are relatively untested. In this battle, yeah. good half. Oh, the, well, the serious. Callie or sure, Ashley is the only one that won against the monster. Vote, right. no, vote, no, vote. No, which one of us? That I doesn't got six, count. Six die versus five. He lost five. three times. Six versus five. Okay. You can go ahead and dump another one of those swords if you want to make five. No, six. she's not she doesn't want to. Okay, okay. Secrets. 
You can spend the gold. That would do it. Actually, that doesn't count. Oh, yeah. Your mom has everyone calling you Smashly now. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> you're going to take the shot. Y'all, it's going to go. You guys ready? Yes. You guys ready? You got yes. votes coming in? Six, five, four, three, right, two, Here one. Goes. Final battle. Go. On the rail, possibly. I see a six, five. It ends with five, Trey. Five, five. Oh, five, five. yeah. Uh, Ashley won. Ashley takes it down. Ah. So everybody Ashley stays won. there in the underworld for the party, and you get any resource of your choice, which you could pick sword. Ashley won. Yeah, she smoked us. I got five, five, the other four, you three, could one, pick one. Is a, is a card and just hope it's a scoring card. Maybe there's one card here that says if you lose every battle but one, you get a bunch of points. What was that? So if you lose every battle but so one. So that wasn't her turn yet, by the way. So we still have a turn. Yeah. We cast the spell. Blood Rage is out. Now you pull that one back to the summon. Yep. And you're going to pay for that worker with three of anything. Just don't choose swords, right? Yeah, it doesn't even, right? As long as it's yeah. not swords. Then the next work. thing that she's going to do is you want to cast the, you want to do this quest? Yeah. So it's so called can, Empty the Armory. To complete this quest, you must have at least two swords in your supply. Gain one victory point for each sword in your supply. So you've got four swords there. Uh, so you're going to get one, two, three, four. And can three, I use four. my gold as a... Sword? Uh, no, that one's actually counting the actual amount of things. You could have used your orb to get swords, but you would have tapped out. You would have only gotten one of the three. Okay. And I think you could use your orb for yeah, a better purpose. Because now, Vinny, Ryan, you're done with that quest. For you. you can't get this quest. You've got these under control. So you can spend that orb and go for either points, because this is your final move, or you're going to go for a card and a gold, which would be a long shot to get a card that has four. Two. So there's the three, three points, points. yeah. So you go for the three point one, and you're gonna take three more points. One, two, three. That is it for you in Elder okay. Vale. And we got one more turn for the rats. Can I actually do the dungeon? You can, yeah. Okay. You can't do the tile part, but you can do the buying of okay. you want adventure. So can I go in here with Topper? Yeah. Okay. So you go in there. You you would do the tile, but you don't. So you go to buying first. Uh -huh. Okay. I have a bunch of potions. Well, there is Probably. no potions. Oh, that's potions. There's potions on the potions. water one. Okay. I don't have enough. Uh, There's a three question right there. Yeah. You have, a jet, you have an orb over there? No, you have an orb. You have a gold to spend. Yeah, I have a gold. Oh, I have a gold. No, that's only two then. There is a... Is there a two gem? No. No. There's a four gem and a three gem, unfortunately. Okay. So you're buying the water one. I thought that potions. one was potion because no. it's purple. <laughs> potion, yeah, each realm has a primary and a secondary resource. Yeah. All right. And uh, we're going to have that really clearly on the tray with a nice big sticker that shows you what its primary and secondary is. Anything on else? tray at the moment. Uh, yeah, that, that's it. Uh, uh, you, did you buy that one already? You, no, yeah. you bought that. Okay, so, so it's wa water. And you go up in one in water for that? Yeah. And that would be like that. Okay. And right, is that your final final move? Yeah, I don't think so. I Michael's do got a turn else. now. I'm done with those. Would you give me three cards? Okay, you went to the Mage Tower. Yeah. Let's see if you can pull some prophecies out of a hat. 